Okay. All right, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Douglas Planning Board meeting for uh, May 13th, 2021. The meeting is being recorded and is available for viewing on the Douglas Public Access Channel and on the Douglas website. We'll come to order at 7.04. And first of all, part of our business is reorganization. Um, we're missing two members right now that should be coming shortly. So we'll wait till we have a full board to do the reorganization. All right. 7 p.m. Public hearing continued. Scannell Properties, uh, 640,000 square foot warehouse and distribution facility, 40 and 100 Lockheed Dam Road, Uxbridge, Mass, 1 and 3 Lockheed Dam Road, 20R and 30R Oakhurst Road, Sutton, and Map 114 Parcels 3 through 6, Douglas. Okay. Uh, this meeting, I think we tried to originally scheduled for 7.30. Yes, um, we got them on a They've requested to 7.45? So we, we're asking that, yeah, we, we continue to yep. 7.45. Do we need a motion on that? Yeah, oh yes, yeah. definitely we'll need a motion on it. I'll make a motion why to is it, why is it, Excuse me, why is it on an agenda twice like that? It was we're a, moving the when we, when we met no. with them, when we met with the three towns, we scheduled it for 7.30. Yeah. Um, due to a shortage of staff and everything in our office, we... Yeah. Got a mix up on the scheduling time, so we'll open it at 7, continue till 7.45. Perfect. Yep, I'll make All right. a motion to continue uh, Scannell Properties uh, 40 and 100 Lackey Dam Road to 7.45. This evening. Second. Evening. Motion made by Les, seconded by Mike. Yep. Mike Greco. Yep. All right, any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed, abstain, the motion carries. All right, we can move on to the next item, which is a public hearing for a accessory apartment. Accessory apartment. Accessory apartment. Uh, public hearing, Mark, and how do you, Laura, Laura Lett, Laura, 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 Porter, application for an accessory apartment special permit, 280 South Street, possible vote. Okay. In accordance with the Town of Douglas Accessory Apartments Zoning Bylaw and Massachusetts General Laws Chapter 40A, Douglas Planning Board is holding a public hearing on the application of Mark and Laurelette Porter for an accessory apartment special permit. Property location is 280 South Street, Assessors Map 288, Parcel 1, Douglas Mass. Public hearing is being held on Thursday, May 13, 2021 at 7 p.m. in the Resource Room, Municipal Center 29 Depot Street. Copy of the application may be viewed in the Community Development Department during regular business hours. Any person interested or wishing to be heard on the proposed plan should appear at the time and place designated. Ernest Marks, Jr. Chairman, Douglas Planning Board. Public hearing is now open. Okay, do we have anybody here for this application? Yep. Okay, can you... Let's stop. You want to just give us a brief description of what you want to do? Uh, just looking to take Just a give me a name, please, first, for the uh, record. Mark Potter, 280 South Street. Thank you. Uh, just looking to uh, take advantage of the additional 200 square feet that uh, the town bumped us to 900 square feet. Uh, looking to get some single first level access out the back of the house um, as the in laws are getting older. And uh, just give them a little bit more space. Okay, so you're staying within the limits of the yep. law. So what is the, if I may add, add a garage bay for storage under the space if this space is on ground level? Uh, the rear exit of the house is like six steps down. So it's going to be garage space underneath. What, what, in a six foot high space you're going to put a garage bay? I don't care. I just, it's built, it's the way I'm the, trying to understand the it. The land's built. It's built up on a patio. It's on a slope. See that? doors up here on the back side, it's a cut down. So instead of having to waste the space, put a garage in the front, put the doors in. But the 200 square feet is at ground level or up above the garage? Above the garage. So how does that help? But anyway, you know, I don't care, but how does it help? So you just want room to put a, a different staircase next to the garage to get up, or? Uh, no, it's so the single story living right now. Yep. The original house has a garage under, a mechanical space below, unfinished. Mm -hmm. The first floor is bedroom, kitchen, bathroom. 
-hmm. Off the rear of the house, we're going to do a 10 by 20 addition, which will be on the same level as the living space. And the way the grade is built in the back, it'll allow us to put a garage bay underneath. And, um, but it's not really like a ground level entrance exit. It will be. It will be on the back. Whatever. Just like my house. Okay. My house is walk up the front door and on a level. Back is uh, uh, put a garage in the back. Because it's dropped. Get his name. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I just didn't see any. And you're maintaining all the setbacks and everything still. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you know, so sorry to existing. Yeah. All right, Boyd. Any questions? Works. All right. Kind of straightforward. Staying within the realm of the bylaw. Yeah. Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. You think so? Uh, a limit of 900. Our yeah. limit is 900. They're, they're currently 700. They just want to increase to Yeah, that's fine. That part is fine. Okay. Yeah, I was just trying to understand. Okay. Okay. Yeah, somebody want to make a motion to close the public hearing? Was there anybody, uh, anybody online that wants to speak? Anyone online? Anybody online oh. that wants to speak? Uh, yeah, okay. Anybody online that wants to speak to this issue? Okay. okay. Seeing none, hearing none. Anybody in the audience? Mm -hmm. Seeing none, hearing none? I'll make a motion to close the public hearing for the accessory apartment special permit for Markham and Lorette Porter at 20 South Street. Second. Motion be made. Who seconded it? Mike. Mike. Mike G. Okay, motion Mike, made by Mike C. Seconded by Mike G. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstained? Motion carries. Motion to endorse the plan. Need an endorsement? Yep. I'll make a motion to endorse the special permit presented to us from Mark and Lorette Potter at 280 South Street as presented. Second that. Motion made by Mike Z, seconded by Les. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Motion carries. Yep. Okay, next item on the agenda, 715. Yep. We haven't met there yet. Okay, you want to take anything out of order for discussion? Minutes or anything? Do we have any minutes? Uh, yep, we, the, we have about seven minutes. Yeah. Well, I think we've approved some of those. <clears throat> yeah. We approved uh, Maria's just not aware of that. Okay. Where are they listed? I'll send her a note. The very... Is that the end? Yeah. You highlight what we've approved already. Awesome. Yeah, you. okay. All right. I had to send her Jacob. Well, thank you, Liz. Oh, yeah. She, I think she asked me about uh, which meetings had been approved, but I did. I lost my uh, <coughs> agenda. Oh, okay. The yeah. first, excuse me. The first three have been approved already. Okay. 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 Have we approved it two Januarys and one okay. February? Well, let's hit them if we can okay. hit any. Approved. All right. I'll let her know. All right. Do we have any meeting minutes in our packet? I didn't see any. Nope. Nothing new, right? Nothing new that I see. I. We can, uh, we can do them at the next meeting. Yeah. Okay. Why is Carol Bill with Bilinski's thing? Yeah. No. First time, eh? Yeah. We rejected it. Well, but, you still have to sign the, but you still have to sign the decision. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The decision being right. rejected. Right. Uh, and we have a request for a number six on our discussion. Number six. Oh, yeah. Crest for a three year accessory apartment special permit extension. Six or seven? Number seven. 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 We have seven. two, yeah. Seven. Number seven. Yeah, you actually are. Yeah, number, number seven is accessory. That's in number here. Eight is an accessory. They're right here. Number six is about the slopes. Is your right. am, I looking the at, am I looking at the right? So. There was a last minute addition to the agenda yeah. um, for 93 Davis Street. Yeah, Ernie. yeah. okay, I, I got it. Okay, yeah. all right, yeah. Yeah. thank you. I want to make sure all. Okay. okay. So, last meeting or this meeting? For this meeting. For this for meeting, the meeting, there was a last minute addition to the okay. agenda so, at um, 93 Davis. Where is it on here? It's, it's I discussed it's, an item number three, highlighted. Do we, do we, okay. I think number six on the discussion we could do. Stone slope. Yeah. Is that ready? To, is that? Have you heard anything from them? I haven't heard anything from them. I think uh, what we've ex expressed. I don't know if they're online. Uh, we could probably skip over that if you want them. We have three minutes. 
Yeah, we do number seven. Uh, let's do number seven. Number seven. Is that okay with everybody? Do number seven? Yeah, we've got seven and eight right in front of us. Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. Request for a three year accessory apartment special permit for Corey and Alana Howard, 101 Manchog Street. Um, so, I think we're just talking about this. This is an extension. Yeah, it's just. Saying there's a thing as an extension. Um, yes, there is. No. Yes. Yes. Well, we were trying to. There was sure. a conversation about discussion eliminating about, that yeah. discussion. I know. Yeah. Yeah. It was okay. relevant. I mean, I just took over both of them. This yeah. is just a renewal. It's a renewal. Yeah, just, yeah, just a renewal. Yeah, right. fine. Wait. Yeah, no way we need it. Yep. Do you need a? Uh, Nothing's changed. Everything's the same. Yep. All right. Yep. Same people. And is anybody here for this one? I don't. Think so, so it's just a simple extension. Yep. Okay. Wait, anybody have any questions or concerns on this? No. We did. Someone will make a vote. Oh, I'll, a motion. Yeah, I'll make a motion to approve um, the accessory department at uh, 101 Manchog Street for Corey and Alana Howard. Second. Motion made by Les. Seconded by Mike Z. Any further discussion? No. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Motion carries. All right, well, we, just, we can still bang out the next one if you yep. want. Number eight. Put it in the packet. Here's Sam. Tediana Peron. I'll make a motion to accept the three year accessory department uh, extension for Tadine Terrence at 67 Northwest Main Street. I'll second that. Okay, motion made by Mike Z, seconded by Les. Any further discussion? <coughs> All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Motion carries. All right. Opposed? Got one more. Care of. Hi, Tracy. How oh, are you? Good. How are you? A public hearing, though. Thanks for waiting. Uh, those are the only two. Uh, we opened a uh, public hearing for us. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Probably 730. Right. 7.30. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. And we just did. Um, Sassery apartment. We did yes. a 7 o'clock. New accessory all the goodness. Okay. And with addition, uh, and, and then we did we just did seven and eight. So we awesome. can move on Thank to seven fifteen. It is seven fifteen. Yep. Public hearing, McIntyre Loom. Application for earth removal special permit for seventy northeast Main Street. Possible vote. Let me find my reading. Uh which one is it? Yeah. Good evening. Uh, yeah, wait a minute. I have to read the public notice first. If I can find it here. <laughs> Do you mind? Right here. Thank you. In accordance with the Mass General Laws, Chapter 40A and Douglas Earth Removal Zoning Bylaw, Section 6.1 and 9.3, Planning Board will hold a public hearing on an application of McIntyre Loom Inc., 117 Wood Street, Hockington, Mass in KTKT LLC 29 Pleasant Street, Hopkinton, Mass. Owner for an earth removal special permit for property located at 470 Northeast Main Street, Douglas, Mass. Assessors map 140, parcel 9. As shown on the gravel removal plan prepared by KTKT LLC by Daniel McIntyre, PE, dated March 31st, 2021, consisting of 3.75 acres. Public hearing will be held on Thursday, May 13th at 7.15 p.m. in the Municipal Center Resource Room, 29 Depot Street, Douglas, Mass. A copy of the submittal is available for viewing in the Community Development Department during regular business hours. Any person interested or wishing to be heard on this matter should appear at the time and place designated. Ernest March, Chairman, Douglas Planning Board. Public hearing is now open. Good evening. I'm John Harmer. Okay. Tom, Tom McIntyre, also McIntyre Loom, but and also the landowner KTKT LLC. And uh, Daniel McIntyre, engineer for the project. Okay, thank you. So we're here uh, seeking a special permit, an earth removal permit, to remove this section highlighted in red on your plan. Um, in total, it's five acres. In Douglas, it's three and three quarter acres. Uh, the other one and a quarter acre, one and a 
quarter, I guess, was in Oxford, which we were at last night. Uh, so on this side, um, the hill that's the currently there now is inside our boundaries. Uh, completely vegetated. We reclaimed it back in 05 when we uh, purchased the property. Um, you know, this is the last section that we've yet to tackle. So uh, we're here seeking the permit to strip the boom and uh, any vegetation. We're going to leave that on site. Remove all material from that site into our existing operation, process it, and then, you know, sell it during our normal course of business. And then once complete, you know, put back the top soil and be registered. Okay. Ian, any questions on this or concerns about this one? Nope. Um, nothing really seemed out of the ordinary for me. I, um, this is sort of the first earth removal permit that I've come across, so I don't know what specific things that the board might be looking for, but everything sort of seemed above board okay. and not too, um, it seems like a very straightforward application. Okay. Um, groundwater levels, have you, are there any wells showing where groundwater level is or yeah. any test holes? We have two monitoring pipes at the property that have been there for years. Yeah. And this, this area of the, of, of the pit is going to be about 20 feet above groundwater. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Documented on the plan. Yep. Yes. That blue line is the approximate. Okay. Now you, how many yards do you approximate? So uh, in total, it's about 130,000. Uh, Oxbridge is roughly 30,000, and that should yeah. be roughly 100. 100,000. Yeah. So. Okay. Now you're digging out in the red where the gas line is. So what, is there going to be a slope to the gas line up or down? Where is the gas line below uh, the, the grade or above the grade? It's going to be above the grade. It's going to be the gas line. Well, yeah, the will be stay outside the 50 foot, yeah. um, you know, easement for the gas line, and then we will be sloping down towards. So how high up will the gas line end up being after you're done doing the cut? The top of the gas line area. Uh, what are you figuring going to be? In other words, going up to the gas line. So. In reality, you'll be way below it, and the gas line is going to be 10 to 20 feet. The, the hill sits about 20 feet above the gas line right now at its highest point, and uh, the gas line will go with the net, goes with the natural grade. At the bottom, we'll be at that grade, and cutting back into the slope, it'll probably be a slope of 15 or 20 feet, and it'll be all graded at a three to one slope. Okay, and the gas line company is aware of the work being done. Uh, I'm not sure. Well, they, 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 they will be. We've got to, we've got to go through the dig safe process. Yeah, right. They come off the market out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we've got to stay at least you know, 25 feet away from the pipe itself. It's, okay. It down. Uh, is, 20, is, is, is there's a 50 foot buffer, isn't there? Or is, there, or is it? Yeah, there's a 50 foot buffer. Yeah. Right? yeah. It, the pipe could be on one side, side of the other. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. It could be 25. 25 and 25. Okay. 25 All right. Okay. All right. Is that the abandoned line? That's no, the same abandoned that's line that's the that gas one? line. That's the that's the natural gas line or the that's gasoline the line? Gas. That's the natural gas line. Yeah. Who's, who's okay. The, yeah. All right. That's all I'm sorry. Who's the owner for the gas line for the record here for the minutes? Uh, I believe it's Tennessee Gas. Yeah, yeah Tennessee, Tennessee Gas. Yeah. Yes. For the record. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. Any other questions, Boyd? No, that was just the big thing was with the gas line. Yeah. What's that? Was the gas line deal on how high or how low? The yeah. cut's going to be from the gas line. I have no idea, and I'm sure gas line has regulations that they'll have to. Yeah, I mean, they have the easement. As, yeah. as far as we go, I, I don't, I don't know what our, we have. We have petty regulations. No, no, I know. Is. Just, just mm -hmm. mention it. Yeah. All right. Anybody else on the board have any questions the or concerns? The gas line does sit solely in Oxford. Like ultimately, this is combined, but. Yeah. The, the, yeah. the gas line doesn't run through Douglas at that section. Right. All right. All right. And all our standard operating hours and all that stuff is all. It, it would go back to. It's all, all in all in without. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. This is a public hearing. Is there anybody in the uh, audience that I has any questions? Can I ask a couple questions, questions please? Oh, yeah. Go ahead, Tracy. Thank you. Yep. Um, do you have a list, a separate list of waivers that I see it's within the body of your application here but do you have like a just a separate one piece so pa were, piece of paper i didn't just break it out it's all kind of, yeah, okay yeah and do we have the um a 
butter's permission slip to get within the 100 foot buffer of the proposed excavation? Um, can we get that in writing? I can get that. Okay. And if we could do a waiver request sheet just with all the waivers yeah. only, okay. dated. And did you notify the abutters in Uxbridge? Yeah. Yes. Everybody. Okay. Sure. I didn't find that here um, in my paperwork. So did you get the? That was in the Uxbridge paperwork. Yeah, I, they got that. I can give you a copy of what I submitted to them, which would have been all the abutters. Okay. Yeah. Let's get that for the record, just because um, we should have both towns certified abutters list in our pocket. No, no. Just to make sure that these guys got notified yeah. in the red. Yeah. They would want it. Yeah. yeah. I, I can. I'll do the same. I'll share the Douglas one. Yeah. How many waivers are you asking? Uh, four. Um, proximity four. to. Three. 100 foot buffer. 100 foot buffer, correct. Yeah. Screening and public ways. Uh, I don't think we're doing the public ways. There's a waiver of items related to the public ways. It's in here. 6.1.6. 6. Yeah, no, 10, 11, and 12. We're not bringing it on to the public ways, Rock. It's going to be processed within. So. Yeah, as part of our waiver, your waiver yeah. request, we have to know what to vote on, though. Okay. So whatever you want to request as a waiver, waiver. Yeah, sure. just in case. Absolutely. Thank you, Tracy. You're welcome. I mean, otherwise, I got no problem with it. I mean, it's the business. Just like you say, a, a structured waiver list, so that it's ABC and logged off. It's for the file with right. a date on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we always get the permission slip from the neighbor yep. that we're encroaching on. For the 100, yep. Yeah. And then the abutters. Yeah. Uh, um, I think that's it for me. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else on the board? No. Um, do we have a timeline of completion yeah, that's and I restoration? I was going to ask that. <laughs> so, timeline will be done within two years. Mm -hmm. Okay. Follow, immediate follow, but uh, I, I would guess that the timeline will be a little bit quicker than that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Put it in writing. Yeah, I have that all yeah. in writing yeah. on what you plan on. Yeah. Okay. And then if we just go through, um, Ian, mm -hmm. each item in the earth removal yep. section yep. of our bylaw to make sure that each one is addressed, because uh, typically we would have the response we would have Bill respond to them and then address each item in our bylaw and if they're asking for the waiver or not. Uh, I don't really see, I see a little bit of that. A little bit. And uh, don't, we, don't we have a, a bond or something for the... For restoration. Re restoration. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so your surety. Surety. So, a question on that is, uh, I couldn't really find what an appropriate amount per acre for a restoration bond. Yeah, so you would submit the you would submit your proposed restoration amount. So Douglas Douglas doesn't have no. And we always used to go by state mass DOT mass DOT spec restoration. If we have to restore as right. a town, we want right. enough covered there. That's what Bill always used to use always. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, it I it tends to be yeah yeah. yeah yeah tends to be on the higher side. So because you're keeping all the loam on site. There may be some wiggle room on that. Yeah. Um, but it tends to be on the higher side. So if you do it appropriately for the mass DOT, then you say, hey, yeah. these are the considerations I want you to take into account. And then we'll kind of talk about the bond amount. Yeah. And that way, like you'll say, uh, we're going to keep so much loom on site for it. And then we'll take into account that aspect mm -hmm. where the loom's there. Mm -hmm. But if not, then we'd have to bring the loom. Yeah. Right, so exactly. So it would be a deal where. You have to guarantee that that's going to be there for for it. Yeah, forever. And yeah. then we can work with it that way. Well, we can put together that. Yeah. But Bill, that was always done. I know by state spec. Yeah. Yeah. Always used to use. That's online. Yeah. Yeah. For the area. Yeah. Okay. That's it for me right now. Thank you, Tracy. You're welcome. All right. Anybody in the audience have any comments or questions on this project? Seeing none, hearing none. Anybody online? Okay. 
Okay. The non hearing. Nothing that much going on up there. I don't know what's. Uh, Okay. Now, do we want to continue it? Because yeah. we want to go yeah. over the waivers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We can wrap it up in the next meeting. Yeah. So, yeah. we'll make a motion to continue the public hearing for McIntyre Loom for 470 Northeast Main Street. At anybody got a book? You have to spit out when. When's our five, next meeting? 527 is our next meeting. Yeah, you want to do the book? Sure. Uh, you want to do 745? 745 on 527. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Works great with me. Okay. And, and then good. before you make that motion, what else is on the agenda for the 27th? Um, it is St. Dennis Earth Removal A and R Plan A and R Plan. Okay, the St. Dennis that's going to be continued. Um, okay. They are. We have confirmation in writing that they're not going to be ready for the 27th. Okay. So okay. we'll do set a friendly amendment to 7 p.m. Okay. On the 27th. So we'll do that. Friendly amendment to 7 p.m. on the 27th, mm -hmm. by the 27th. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, first thing in. Okay. okay. All, right. All right. All right. Very good. Uh, let's call right. the motion. Yep. I did. I called. Yeah. Yep. Oh, second. Second motion made by Mike C, seconded by Les. Yep. Any further <clears throat> discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Abstain? Motion carries. Thanks. All right, we'll see you All next meeting. Right. We'll be able to wrap yep. everything up then. Um, so, Ian, if we can review the bylaw and then yeah. if there's anything missing tell the applicant the missing items and then have them keep this chain of their application yeah. um, mm -hmm. keep the chain so that we know the new stuff that's in this statement in support yeah, yeah definitely. so we, they can just add it like in bold or something but make sure um, bold or red keep, or different keep colors this so initial correspondence mm -hmm. and then respond yeah, okay. Right. Yeah. Did you hear me? I did not hear you. We just need to keep the chain of communication. So date, and then when if Ian needs any other additional information like what we're talking about and the separate waiver, make sure you date it and say your, the applicant's response. You got it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, keep it on time with these public hearings. Yeah. It's gonna be early tonight. So, okay. All right. Seven thirty. Yep. Seven thirty. Seven thirty. Is it seven thirty? Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Move on. Oh, this is to our next uh, item. This is a renewal, but not a renewal. Thirteen years later. So. All right. Seven thirty. Public hearing. Cheryl and Derek Sinstra. So Sinstra. it's not really. A, it's Sinistra. already exists, right? Sinistra. Okay. Sinistra. Application for an accessory apartment special permit, twelve Cook Street. Possible vote. All right. I'll read the public hearing notice. In accordance with Massachusetts General Laws, Chapter 40A, the Town of Douglas Accessory Apartment Zoning Bylaw, Section 3.3 and 9.3, the Douglas Planning Board is holding a public hearing on the application of Derek and Cheryl Steamstra. for an accessory apartment special permit. The property location is 12 Cook Street, assesses map 142, parcel 96, Douglas, Mass. Public hearing is being held on Thursday, May 13th, 2021, at 7.30 p.m. in the Resource Room, Municipal Center, 29 Depot Street, Douglas, Mass. A copy of the plan will be viewed in the Community Development Department during regular business hours. Any person interested or wishing to be heard on the proposed plan should appear at the time and place designated. Ernest Marks, Chairman, Douglas Planning Board. Public hearing is now open. Is there anybody here for this plan? Online? Yep. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just give me your name and address, please. Hi, my name is Cheryl Steenstra, and I'm at 12 Cook Street. Okay. So it was previously issued. This, do you want to give us a little background? Yeah. Charles? Um, we have this in law apartment, uh, accessory apartment for. We've had it for 13 years now, um, and she's still doing well and still living here. Um, the reason we're applying again is because typically we renew in November, but we did not this year receive a letter for renewal in the mail. I guess that is not happening anymore. So about um, a week after it expired, we received um, a registered letter stating that we were going to get fined every day that we did not pay it. But had 
had we got something in the mail, we would have certainly just renewed it and kept going. Um, so um, now we had to reapply and redo everything because we never received notification. Okay. I just have to ask uh, a question. Is it has it been 13 years? You this you got yeah, approval got 13 it. years ago. And have Eventually. you reapplied? Every, I mean, every three years, but this is the only most recent three year, or you haven't done it for 13 years? Um, no, we reapply every three years, and we've had the apartment for 13 years. Um, I guess yeah. typically there we, we uh, get a yeah. um, mm -hmm. letter reminding us that there's a renewal, and within that yeah. letter we have the paperwork to actually sign and send the check in to do the renewal. Um, we actually can't renew it without receiving the letter because you can't access the paperwork online. We have to receive the paperwork to sign it and approve it and send the check, but we never received it. Okay. Um, Tell us what to do, Les. So <laughs> and I have something to say about As this, well. too. Yeah. So now we've had to start over yeah. again and yeah. go through all the fees and all the steps. It should be on their calendar, know. okay? Yep. I would have done it if I got the letter. I would have just sent the check in. Yeah, you've been doing it right along. I mean, this yeah. is a situation where it's where they keep taking away our department and there's nobody there. So you try to call and there's nobody to answer the phone. But it's and there's nobody to send out the mail. And yeah. Yeah. So uh, it's other than the mortgage is probably the second most important thing. Yeah. Though, so through, to, I mean, to know on your on your anniversary that needs to be done. But I, I know, but it, it's challenging. At the end of the day, it's a $50 renewal. It turns into an $800. Right. $400, which I don't know if we can justify that $400 of work was done to review this application. Correct. And also, I believe, and somebody can double check me, but when we were in the state of emergency, there was a tolling period for all expiring permits in the state of Massachusetts. Uh, I have no idea why this person would need right. to do this. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I would almost be inclined to um, refunding all except for $50. This, this should yeah. not be happening. No. There's I mean, a tolling I mean, period. The board. It's been frozen. Yeah. There was supposed to be yep. no expiration yep. of any permits last right. year. I have no idea why this keeps happening. I told yeah. everybody this yeah. last year. Yeah. This is, yeah. This is the third one that came in. Yeah. I, I, I think what it is is nobody wants to listen yep. okay. and nobody wants to pay attention to what's really going on. Uh, it's a sad state we're doing this to our residents here in this town because of incompetency and or lack of knowledge. Um, yep. I think uh, personally, I mean, if we can take a vote uh, as a board where we feel all the fields fees should be reimbursed except for the fifty dollar renewal. Renewal. Fee. Mm -hmm. right. I mean, yeah. if you need a motion made, I'll make that motion on this particular application because this is crazy. This is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So, so we need I would have that as what was, the, um, what was the dollar figure we'd be four hundred. So three hundred fifty dollars. Three hundred. Um, first, it's a public hearing, so we'll just ask the public yeah. if anybody's here. Okay. But yeah. I, I, we really need to stop this. Yes, we do. Anything that expired I, in 2020, yeah. we should, uh, we should stop. Who, who's doing this? Who, who's who's, who's <laughs> writing these threatening fees and so, stuff so, like that without knowing the law? So, to the chair, um, so two so things. One, the, there's, a, there's a list, and I think uh, we're probably about 50 plus accessory apartments in town. Uh, that list got shared to us last year when I requested it. Yep. The, the letter comes out from the building inspector because he basically says, oh, it's expired, and then sends out the, the letter of, you know, you, you'll either take out the apartment or face the fine every day of so much money. So at the end of the day, it's become more of a burdensome, and this is one of the reasons why I want to bring it into the fall town meeting to remove the time limit because we should, the, the trigger for the, for the renewal for an accessory apartment should be if something has changed, subject to change, whether you sold the property or whether you're no longer using it. I, I mean, we're going off key here. The, know, right now, this, this is the key. We have a $50 renewal fee. Right. We just did two of them. Mm -hmm. So let's leave it at the 50 mm -hmm. bucks yep. mm -hmm. and refund yep. the rest. Mm -hmm. So yep. that's for a lot of discussion on that. But I'm, I'm just saying, yep. Yep. I'm uh, on this particular one right okay. now, right here. Yes, the call public hearing. Okay. Public. Any other questions on this? Nope. Board? No? Okay. No. Anybody in the audience or anybody online? Okay. Motion to close the public hearing? I'll make a motion to close the public hearing for 12 Cook Street, uh, Cheryl and Derek Steamstra's accessory comment. Second. 
Motion made by Les, seconded by Mike G. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? The motion carries. Now, does somebody want to make a yep. motion on the refund? I'll make the motion um, to, to, grant. to grant the accessory apartment a special permit and to re, uh, re, refund the $350 uh, back to the applicant for Derek and uh -huh. Cheryl Steamster, um, 12 Cook Street. Hold on. Is that the right amount? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it was four, and then 50 is the yeah, renewal. Standard. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right, motion made by Les. Mike, you want a second? I'll second that. Seconded by Mike Z. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? The motion carries. Okay, you're all set. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll work on getting you a refund. Thank you. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Good all right. luck. <clears throat> all right. This is the first have about this is happening. Do you want to take eight number minutes? Number one. What can we do? Between? Well, right yeah. suggestion. Yeah. Um, the 93 Davis Street, um, the applicant is here. Oh, or the yeah. one, um, person is here? Number one. Oh, so it's number one? Yep. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Either one. So. Take something fast. Is yeah, number yeah, one going quick. to be fast? Yeah, we we'll got to do something quick because we got we got them waiting at uh, 45. Yeah, yeah. So I, I have I don't no know problem what doing. One's doing. Ray might we should, be a we little longer. We should do the one at 93. Right. right? Yeah. 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 Let's yeah. let's do 93 Davis Street. All right. Yep. All right. We got a letter in our packet from the applicant. And Mr. Chairman, I'm going to recuse myself. And for let the record show that discussion. Tracy is recusing herself. Okay. All right. 93 Davis Street. Tracy, you want to explain what you... How are you guys? Uh, good. How are you? I'm doing very well. Good. Glad to hear that. Getting down to the wire. Came back to you to ask you a favor. Okay? Okay. Officially. I need a temporary modification of the conditions on the special permit. We are looking for a sign-off before final uh, pavement is done due to the fact that there will be some settlement because there's been so much movement over there that our paving company recommended that we wait until September to do the full top coat. But in the, meet, in the interim, um, we would like to get a sign off to open before the final top course of pavement. And we will be doing the binder with full lineage mm -hmm. that was approved in the original um, conditions. Okay. So it's going to look like it's completely done. I'm just asking to do the binder first. Okay. So that way I don't have to go back in September and we do right. something that's completely done. It's going to be okay. very important. Yep. All right, so when, when, do you, when do you have the binder scheduled for? The 17th. 17th of this month? And I have a guarantee that I will have everything done by September. Okay. How thick is the base coat going to be? The binder. Base coat. coat. Two yeah. coat base coat. on the plans. Okay, so okay. it's usually two and a half inches. Yes. Okay. All right. No other problem with it. No, I don't either. No, Got to get no, the business we, open. We have yeah. a we have a definite date though on when it's going to be done. The seventeenth. I mean, oh, oh yeah, in September first. No, fall. For fall. December. Yep. For the fall. September Sometime one. in September, she's yeah. asking. So we're but, but they're going to fully line it in the yeah. meantime. Yeah. Right. Find a coat Good. and line it. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. It's going to look like it's completely. It's going to be a better product in the end, yeah. long term. Yeah. Yeah, as long as we have a permanent note in there. On on September one, that it's is. in her write up too. Yeah, it's in her letter. Let's put it in. No, I see it there, but I mean, for the record, for the record, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. looked at, and I mean, in September, yeah. I, I might not get in the minutes. I might not remember. Put it in the minutes. Put yeah. the minutes. It'll yep. be. So I'm okay with it. Me too. Yeah, yeah no right. problem. Anybody else on the board? Anybody okay, somebody want to make a motion to. It's not a hearing. No. Modify this modification. Yeah. Make a motion for the minor modification for 93 Davis Street concerning the base coat and the top coat. Uh, it'll be put down on the 17th of this month, and the top coat will be done on the 1st of September. And the 17th with all lineage, lineage, whatever. Right, not lineage, yeah. lineage. <laughs> okay. Could be lineage if you hand it down to your family. <laughs> all right. I'll second that. Okay. Motion made by Mike. Z, seconded by Les. Any further discussion? No. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Abstain. Motion carries. Well I have one more question. Um, can, do we know who's going to sign off on my conditions? Marie said that you guys would discuss it and make a vote on that. Uh, on, on sign off on? My conditions. Uh, the, the, the application. So she gets the uh, office yeah. permit. Um, it's usually you. Yeah, it's, yeah. 
it, it, um, do we, is that coming to us yet? Is, is that in the office? It's or? coming. Okay. It's going to be coming next week. Oh, okay. All right. That's cool. fine. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll either, either I will sign it. We're re reorganizing tonight. So either I will sign it or whoever's the chairman will uh, sign so it. So we're all set. There's somebody yeah. on the board. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Usually yep. the chairman signs it. Okay. Yeah, usually the chairman signs it. So. All right. Yep. Thank you so much. Tom. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Good luck. Yep. Oh, yes. When's the opening? If I tell you the date, it always gets set back. Okay. okay. All right. Don't, don't tell us not. Soon, <laughs> soon, soon. <laughs> All right. Good luck with everything. Have you seen the banner yet? <laughs> Have you seen the banner? No. No. No, no I, I haven't seen the banner yet. No. Okay. All right. I'll take a ride by. All right, guys. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Cool. All right. We still have a couple minutes before 745. Anything quick we can do? Uh, is Ray going to be quick? Worcester White Reservoir Estate. What's that about? Which one? Yeah, White Reservoir Estate. Four. Four. No, no, four. Status. White and Reservoir oh, we Estate. Want, status. Yes. No, we. Uh, yeah. They're not here. The, have we gotten anything from here. them? Maria said, she, from Maria said she hasn't gotten anything from them. Okay, then that's. Well, didn't, didn't you ask for them to show up to the board? Or they said that they were going to show Give up. Give us an update? Yeah. 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 I just want to make sure I was. <laughs> so, yeah, we did say that. But what about yeah, the. Well, that could, be, that could be lengthy if we, if we start talking to them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. We don't see them but either. Did we get anything from AD, ASD Wallam Lake? What about this covenant for a list of supposed one? This one? I didn't see anything. Number two. What's that one? It's, it's, just just it's under discussion. I don't know. What is that? It's in here. I saw that name. I mean, how do you not know that name? Let me see. Right here. Bella Drive. Yeah, that's um, Isabella, actually. Isabella. It's, it's not even written correctly. I believe it's called Isabella Drive. It's not Isabella Woods. Mm. Which one no, well, he has it twice want? wrong. I mean, Number two. It's twice Bella. It's in the. Do you think it's wrong twice in here? No, no is, <laughs> Isabella's different. Isabella's, Isabella's off of Maple. Yeah, Isabella's off of Maple so also. What, and what's Bella Woods? That's that's Cosmo. That's, that's yeah. Yeah, that's okay. up okay. further. It's further up the road from okay. Isabella. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like it's like it was like a residential compound. Uh, yes, I know. I remember that one. Yeah, I just didn't. Okay, was, but Isabella Estates. I was is confusing the two. Yeah, no, it's 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 beyond that. <laughs> the road of Bellas. So the, the word Bella Woods is is correct. Okay. Well, great. So what are we doing? We're seven forty-five. <laughs> No, it's it's almost 7:45, so let's wait one more minute and we'll go on to them. Do you have any minutes to go? Do you have any minutes? No minutes. No minutes. Okay. okay. All right, 7:45. You ready? There are. Excuse me. All right. Public hearing continued. Scannell Properties. Gentlemen, you have the floor. Name and address as you speak, please. Sure. Mr. Chairman, members of the board, thank you. Attorney Todd Broder from Fletcher Tilton here on behalf of the applicant. We've got our project team here mostly live, but I see Grant Tachi's on the, on the line as well as the uh, okay. sound consultant. So, um, the note from VHB does have a few slides to, to review with you. He's got a projector, which he's wondering how he's going to put it together here. I think. Uh, uh, good question. <laughs> I don't know how the I don't know where we'll be able to see it. Wall. What? Right, right there. Yeah. 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 Um, you know, we do have a couple of traffic related things that Vinod's just going to hit on. Okay. Because that seems to be the, you know, kind of the issue of the day for Douglas. But certainly if there are other open issues that we haven't addressed yet, we're happy to get through any of those. Okay. We have you know, some prepared slides for Vinod, but we, we can talk through any of those other issues that, that okay. you may have. You know, you're the first in our breakout sessions right. with, yep. with each town. Uh, we've have received uh, another letter from Jen Hager from <coughs> Sutton just with some comments on on some things that needed clarification. We're going to work through that with her. Okay. Um, we don't foresee any significant or really any plan changes. I think it's mostly answering questions. Okay. Good. For her. Good. <laughs> so we're just respect. You know, we're dealing with the same site plan that we talked about at our at our last hearing. Do you have a waiver request? 
list or anything? Yes. Or for, for waivers? So, oh. I don't, no? I don't, um, we didn't identify specifically any waivers that we needed in Douglas. Earth removal, stuff like that? Earth removal, we did apply for a special permit for earth removal. However, in, in, in recent discussions, uh, we believe that you know we will we're going to be withdrawing that application. Oh, okay. Uh, we believe, and it's you know a little difficult with a site this size, but we believe that could change that we'll end up with with a balanced site, and if not, we'll come back for to, to it after. At this point, um, that's the that's the goal and that's the plan. Okay. There were three specific items for Douglas. I think earth removal, site plan review, and. Traffic. Are those the three we wanted to discuss? So, uh, I, I mean, we can talk about whatever you would like to. Yeah. Well, whatever, project. whatever is yep. written into Douglas in, on the application, we will yep. try to clear up as much as that as we can tonight. So we've we got can. site plan review in Douglas. Yeah, yep. you have site plan review. And that's it. Okay, we'll, we'll that's get, it. We'll if, you re, if you withdraw the uh, removal off the table. Okay. All right. Um, and if we need, if we figure out later once they're. Uh, into the site that we you know, we have a, a need to do that, or, or that design plans go further. Okay. We need to do that. We'll come back. It's, just, it's a Sounds little good. vague right now, and rather than say it's going to be yep. X number of yards of export or whatever, we'll come back. Sounds okay. good. Rather than sit here and wonder what. Are we going <laughs> to okay. Great. So hopefully this works. I don't know if these folks at home will be able to see, but it's it's really just to. Actually, kind of guide the conversation. Now, at the last meeting we had for the joint town, What's been taken? at the end of the meeting there, it was discussed on specific vehicle counts. They said there'd be no problem making that a condition. Is that still a true statement? Let me make sure I understand. No, we were told that there'd be no more than like 40 tractor trailers and no more than so many cars. And the attorney on screen said, We'll make that a condition. So, that's so yeah. Fact so, or what? so that's that's exactly what you know what we'd like to you know, kind of get into the details on. But the the, the idea is we we showed you a, a traffic report that says you know X number of trips, and our our position on that is we'll do pre occupancy. And we Benoit will get get into this on his slides. So pre occupancy, make a confirmation that that is still intended to be the case. Presuming that the use hasn't changed and the use has changed, then we've got to come back to you anyway. But if it's what we think it is and what we've talked about in the traffic report, no change that that will be that will be confirmed with the, with the post occupancy monitoring. Okay. And then there are changes. And then the other comment was is, like I had mentioned there, most of us and people I'm talking to in town are tired of hearing about the percentages. They want to hear it's going to be 50 trucks, 80 cars, not 5%, 2%, 4%, 8%. So that's a new factor on whatever number you're dealing with. So what's going to be the real number is the main deal. I asked the yeah, town council. Brian, when are so the, all the way to the right. The note does have those numbers in the traffic report. I'll see if he's on. But okay. specifically, can we check and see if the town council is online? To call those out. I'm trying to I, I got the camera. He's right there. So he's here. Juicy J. No, it's yeah. Brian's. Brian, no. It's Brian? Yeah. No. Okay. Um, so. We have our town council online, I believe, also. T t sure. uh, Brian, are you on? <laughs> I am here. Okay. Sorry. Thank you for showing up. Thank you. We appreciate it. Um, you know, You know what we're discussing tonight? You're caught up on it? Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't given much by way of background, so I was asked to, to attend and, and try to assist uh, as much as I could. But I, I don't have uh, as much background as you all have. So okay. I'm going to get myself up to speed as you go along. All right. Thank you. Okay. So, yep. Good sure. to go. So we'll, we'll try to hit uh, the, the question as we go through. And if, if um, you know, this isn't a long presentation or yep. anything, but mm -hmm. we get five minutes in mm -hmm. and you say, look, we're sick of hearing it. Just yep. tell okay. us to stop and yep. start mm -hmm. asking us what you want to ask. All right. You, yeah. you do your presentation. Yeah. If we have questions, we'll wait till after it's over. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is uh, Vinod Kalikiri. I'm a transportation engineer with the firm of BHP, uh, licensed to practice traffic engineering in the state of Massachusetts. Uh, so you've heard a lot of the presentations before in multiple meetings. So what we're trying to do here tonight is uh, use the P 
peer review consultants' recommendations as a framework for the discussion. We understand there are other things that we're going to get into, but we listed the conditions or the recommendations from the peer review consultant, and I'll just go through those, and then we can uh, go deeper into any of those items or other items that, that you think are, are relevant to this discussion on traffic. Okay. Okay. So I'll just quickly go through the presentation. So we know where the site is located. So the peer review consultant identified a series of recommendations that are listed on this, and I have a uh, you know, slide for each one of these uh, six items. The first one, uh, the recommendation was to identify and come up with a set of improvements at the intersection of Gilboa Street and North Street. So we saw this slide at the last meeting. Uh, there was some comments about the type of improvements that are needed, whether it's curbing along the side of the road, signage, pavement markings, better information for the drivers. The scope of the improvements, uh, you know, obviously we'll, we'll work that out with, with the town and the peer review consultants input, but their recommendation was to look at some improvements at this location to help improve traffic operations. Independent of this project, I mean, there are certain things that happen today with uh, lack of a stop sign, for example, on Gilboa Street and the heavy left turns or the heavy right turns coming out, as, as you know. Uh, so the goal would be to come up with some improvements at this intersection that can be implemented to make, make the intersection operate safely and, and more efficiently. Uh, the second element of, of the recommendation was, again, given that we do not have a tenant identified at this point, although you know, we have a pretty good handle on the types of tenants that would go in here and the types of numbers that they would generate, we don't have a tenant identified, a specific tenant. So the peer reviewer's recommendation was to prepare, if there was a van based, you know, one of the more intensive, traffic intensive users that could go on this site, then before uh, the tenant uh, goes into operation, that we, and, or once the tenant is identified, we would prepare a technical memorandum comparing their operations with the assumptions we've made in the traffic study. Because again, you know, the traffic study is based on national statistics for warehouse distribution users. Uh, Scanal, the developer, has done hundreds of these types of sites all over the country. So we have a pretty good handle on the type of user that, that would go here. But once we know who the tenant is, we'll prepare a memorandum uh, comparing their actual operations or, or their information with, with the assumptions we made in the study. So that, that was the second recommendation we saw. And the way that that works, uh, and that's that's what we're calling it as the pre-occupancy validation. So this is before the, the tenant moves in. So if the concern is, well, what happens if the tenant moves in and there's a traffic problem, there's a step before that where you're able to actually look at their operations, understand how that compares to the traffic study. But the peer review consultant, the, the orange box, so the, the peer review consultant comes back into the picture. They'll review the numbers, make mm -hmm. sure that it makes sense or if there is a need for any additional mitigation before the tenant moves in. So that, that's the pre-occupancy validation. There's, there's a flow chart we've developed just showing how that works. You know, If it's a truck-based operation, for example, that, that's the analysis, uh, you know, that, that, that's where you would have one set of analysis and there, and that there would be no further pre-occupancy. The, the issue would be if you have a van-based operation, as the peer review indicated, that's a more traffic intensive use. So we go through the top line where we identify what the issues are with that with the peer reviewers, uh, help compare the results to uh, what, what the actual tenant's operations are. And if there's a need for additional improvements, we would implement it at that stage before the tenant moves in. Then uh, there's a recommendation to implement a left turn lane on Lackey Dam Road. Uh, that's an engineering plan in Lackey Dam Road heading north towards North Bridge. The site driveway is located right there. This is part of the Mass DOT jurisdiction. So the plan would be to implement a left turn pocket on Lackey Dam Road to make sure that vehicles that are turning into the site don't impede the traffic flow in the through, in the through lane. So that, that's a recommendation and, and Scannell is agreeing to implement it. So then comes the, the whole discussion about post-occupancy monitoring. So we do the pre-occupancy validation once the tenant is known. 
then we would go back starting six months after the initial occupancy, and then for three years after that, annually, would go and do traffic counts. And the process for that, again, this is all subject to review and input from you and the peer review consultant. But again, it's a similar process. We would do driveway traffic counts, compare real numbers with our projections. And if certain thresholds are exceeded, there will be additional mitigation that would be triggered. So that, that would be the workflow of adding, you know, we have set, set some uh, benchmarks within the, you know, if the numbers are within 25% of, of the traffic study numbers, and maybe <coughs> there's, there's no need to do additional uh, analysis. If it exceeds that, then you'd go out and actually analyze the intersections and see if there are any impacts associated with the added traffic. And if there is an impact associated with added traffic, then we would identify additional improvements again with, with the town and the peer reviewers' input and implement those as part of the post construction monitoring. Question for you. Are you, are you doing the monitoring, the post occupancy monitoring? Is that every six months? Is that every 12 months? Is that, you know, so it would, start, it would start uh, the first six months and then continues annually. So I would say be six months, and at the end of the first year, end of the second year, the end of the third year. But on that aspect, wouldn't you start that before you even do construction to know yeah. a baseline? That's post, yeah. Right, That's this right. is the this okay. is the post. So we post. Would have a pre yeah. pre monitoring. So you know what you're gonna be basing with. And who determines where that monitoring is done? What locations would it be done at? So that would be done primarily at the same locations that the traffic study was done. So the the January eleventh, twenty twenty one traffic study has some estimates for traffic numbers, impact yeah. analysis, it says this is the queue, this is the number of vehicles that go through each of these locations. So you can do a one-to-one -one comparison and see if the numbers match our projections or if they're off. And if they're off, is there an impact associated with the numbers that are off and what improvements would be needed to fix those problems. So, so for a right, right, but I'm gonna continue on that. But in your discussions at the last meeting, there's roads that we've mentioned that you haven't even looked at. So there could be an impact on a road and you'll never even look at that road. So how, how does that all fly on an impact when you're gonna do a, a pre-monitoring system and like I was mentioning about Central Turnpike where they'll cut down through Central Turnpike, come right down through Manchuk and Gilboa to get to that place. And you've never even mentioned that at any time during this whole process. And I mentioned it twice. So how, how is that all then monitored? And then how do you know if it's up or down in the car count? So the way we would look at it, again, this is a typical process. I know your, your peer review towns, peer review consultant is online as well. The, the way we would do it is we would look at the farthest location in our study area, which is right now the North Street at Chilcoa Street intersection. You would look at the numbers there. If the numbers at that intersection are over and above the numbers that we estimated, it means that there is a spillover effect beyond that point. Then we would go to where, where that impact is. Okay. What we are saying is that that's the location that we would monitor to see what is happening. The expectation is that our projections are going to be valid and that you know all, all of these trucks are going to be getting onto 146, a majority of them. Right. And, but if, if that is off, then we would try to drill down on what, what is happening with the added traffic and figure out a mitigation. So we, we're right. setting up the framework to revisit these locations if the numbers are off. So, so, so for example, the, the bridge, that, which is the North Street, our bridge, yep. our little bridge. So we rejected four trucks, tractor trailers a day. Hmm. I remember that conversation. And we're like, you know, out of hundreds, out of, okay, I'm just saying, if it goes over 25% and you got six a day, that's over 25%, yeah, right? Do you have someone at the beginning when every truck leaves takes the truck number? And is there somebody at the bridge yeah, who says, who, on a daily basis, that says, wow. No, that's, that's, truck not, truck that's, 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 that's not the way they monitor it. No. I'm, I'm just wondering how it works. I can, I can, I can. I guess this question for you. I, I think in the, in, the, in the time that we live in, you have, you have GPS systems. So what I would probably ask for is, the, the first 12 months of data related to all the delivery vehicles GPS data for those 12 months. That way, there you know where the vehicles are headed. 
the trap door. Well, you so. can't do that with independence coming in and out. It, so, yeah, I mean, if you got independence running, yeah, a lot of them might not have yeah. GPS. Yeah. You can't, you and, can't monitor it that way. Right. If, I can, if I can address it again, post construction traffic monitor, I mean, Mass DOT uses the same methodology. Right. And it's, it, this is not new. And the way that works is to your question about how do you know what truck is where they've gone. The, right. right. So, the first one is where you see the driveway caps, right? So, if, if you look at the drive cars, vehicles going in and out of the driveway. That's your first threshold. You look at, you know, there was a certain number that were projected for the site, cars, vans, and trucks. Yeah. So the driveway accounts would automatically tell you if you are off at that point. If we are off, then we chase those numbers to the intersections to the south. And the way we would find whether that vehicle is associated with this site or with, with you know, some, some other truck that's coming off of the highway and driving through town is through a license plate study. And that's, again, a typical way you would do it. So there is technology out there where we would monitor the license plates of the vehicles that are leaving the site. Mm -hmm. And then you would have, let's say, a sensor down at, at the North Street Bridge, for example. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if a license plate that comes out of the site matches a license plate on the bridge, yeah. that's a match. So, so it's sort of like the Mass Pike using license it's, plates. Right. Again, it, this is all standard technology that, that you would use once you get into a post-construction monitor. And again, this would be done with input from the town and your peer review consultant. So it's, we wouldn't be initiating that without your approval. So you would say, do it on this day or this week, and we would follow those, those processes. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, the That's greatest good. concern, I think, for the board in general is the amount of trucks that come over that bridge and through our tiny little Route 27 downtown area on a daily basis. I mean, it is a cluster down there sometimes as it is. That's, I think, the majority of the concern. I mean, we care about other places too, but we care about the downtown. Yeah. So. I mean, there's also additional information in, in the peer review commentary, for example, that, that the tenants will be encouraged to tell their drivers to get on, the truck drivers, to use 146. Obviously, you know, the, the concern Perfect. is, you know, what if they don't follow yeah. that? And that's yeah. where the monitoring study kicks in. Right. Yeah, well, it's, it's the violations that, that you're trying to monitor right. and see if that trips at certain threshold and if that threshold causes a traffic impact. And then the process is in place through this decision or the condition that we would have to come back and fix that problem. And, yeah. and I, you know, I mean, these are public roads and people are allowed to use public roads. Your company as well as any other company right. that's coming through town. Right. But we do want to try to get a handle on what your projections are of how much more the traffic and the truck traffic is going to increase. And I like the plane you're showing us so far. So yeah. It's like, and they say, well, then they'll improve it later on. And I forget what town it is where uh, Best Buy has their warehouse. Mm -hmm. Bellingham. Bellingham. Mm -hmm. All right. Supposedly, I mean, they built that with traffic studies and everything. And that place is a total zoo in the mornings. It's crazy. My wife's got to go by it every single day and she goes, Cars are passing some trucks because they're late for their shift and everything else. You, it's a, it's crazy, and that's what we don't want to have going on here because we see it in this area. It's happening right now. People are told, well, we're going to do this, we're going to do that, we're going to do this, but yet nothing happens, and all of a sudden, the residents in that area are stuck with a mess, and there's nothing that can be done about it. So we're looking for something that we can have fingers in, and that's why I think we have our attorney on, mm -hmm. so that if we come up with a decision or whatever on here, where how can we make it binding, and what repercussions can be done if it's not taken care of? And that's our main deal. I mean, the project and everything, we all want. At least I do. I mean, it's awesome. Good building, good location, next to the highway, the whole deal. I think Douglas is going to be the largest town affected by traffic. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. of the cut-throughs that are available, they get from 395 from either up in uh, Oxford area by Home Depot and on 16. So if you're coming down north a little bit or coming up, there's two ways to come in. They'll go right down in through this here one bottleneck. And that's going to be the biggest concern. I mean, otherwise, it's an awesome, I think it's an awesome deal. Awesome building, awesome everything. So I think, I think we, we absolutely understand what you're, what you're saying. And, and I think, you know, Vinod's kind of pointing out the framework for 
you know, if the if the numbers are are different than what we say, this is how it would it would work. Yeah, right. We're happy to yeah. drill down further, provide some 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 elegant language at some point here, but we're I think we're we're speaking the same language. Right. We're Tracy, did you have something? Oh no, I just um, as far as town council goes that the legally enforceable conditions. Right. So yes. related to yeah. the, the traffic, the damage, our infrastructure. Um, I, we fully understand that it's a public way. Right. Unfortunately, our main street is extremely tight. The bridge is extremely tight. So not being able to get out of your car if you want to go to one of the five pizza places is going to be a problem. So I, I'm really concerned with the the narrowness of having two tractor trailer trucks passing because we already have the Medline trucks passing and then trying to get out of your car and it's just being so congested. So I don't know what town council can suggest and what you guys can suggest as far as if, you know, a real issue, if it becomes a real problem just from your source, from your um, project. And then the bridge, I mean, it, it's not good. It's not good, and I know we're, we're working on getting a grant, right, Ann, for the the bridge to mm -hmm. to improve it. Yes. So there, I mean, there are. That's, that's something where Bob would have to sort of speak more on. The one grant that I mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. uh, I don't think applies because that's a small. The grant that I was thinking of was a small bridge grant program, mm -hmm. and unfortunately, it seems like that bridge might be too big for that. Okay. So. But there is definitely other grant programs to make those. Yeah, so we don't want to put the whole burden on it, but it, it, this existing situation that we have is only going to get worse if people start doing the cut through. So I don't know what we could possibly do to make sure if it becomes a real nuisance if we can enforce something. Right. I don't know what the... what the available remedies are and I you have this set up which is perfect right. but then what's the outcome of okay there's a real issue on Main Street so we see post occupancy there's an issue so now how, what's the solution to that issue so the process here is that you know once you have the peer review consultant on board and that's again the the monitoring locations that, mm -hmm. that will be part of the initial study so mm -hmm. we were, that's generally where the site driveway is going to be. Mm -hmm. That's the farthest location for that initial study, north at Gilboa. If there is mm -hmm. a match between trucks leaving mm -hmm. the site drive and traveling through that intersection, that's when the meeting would happen with, with the town and the peer review consultant to figure out what needs to be done. Whether it's a restriction, a churn improvement, there are a series of measures that we would take. Mm -hmm. The primary desire for these trucks and the reason why Scanel or any other tenant would, would consider a site like this is the adjacency to the 146 and the on and off. Yeah, right. right. I mean, it, I, I drove through that, that very route that you mentioned just now, and I understand the narrowness of the streets, the downtown, you know, the on street parking. So just think about like you know, a tractor trailer, a driver of a truck, they have certain liability as well associated with traveling through these streets when, when they can easily hop on 146. You know, or maybe even take you know central. You, you would think, yeah, you would think, but the shortness of that coming up. So what would no, be I, the I, harm? I, I believe that. I mean, if if this when this project gets going, I the truck drivers themselves are going to realize if we go Gilboa Street and North Street, we're not going to make up any time. We're going to be losing time because it's so congested already. They're going to jump on 146 and go to wherever they want to go. I I I firmly believe that a truck driver. To the truck driver, it's fuel and time. Those are his two concerns, fuel and time. How much fuel is he going to use and how much time can he save by cutting through? And Shortcut if, they, if, if, more, if more, of them are, more and more of them are using Gilbo and North Street, which is going to slow everything down, they're going to say, nope, I'm going 146. It's just not worth that cut through that's going to save me five miles or, or, or a half a gallon of fuel because I'm going to be in traffic. I'm going to be sitting there. I'm going to I'm going to be part of the congestion. I don't want to be part of that, and I'm going to jump on 146. That's the way that's the way I think a truck driver looks at it. So why not implement the restriction now? If your solution would be a restriction, 
I don't if we had the match. It's a public way, so I don't know if we can actually implement any restrictions. Could you tell us about what powers well, are If it's part. a nuisance, if it's a traffic nuisance. Well, we have to ask town council that. Can we implement yeah. any type of authority that could have over there drivers? So, sure. It's really not what it comes down to. It will be a tenant, tenant related issue. Yeah. So like like med Medline, I think we're supposed to only get four trucks coming through Douglas and we get between 10 and 12. I mean, I, I saw an Amazon you know, rig get pulled over in Douglas and I've seen other rigs get pulled over in Douglas. So it, it's becoming more of a sticky. You do that a few times. They'll keep they'll stop coming through. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> so I think, I think at, at our joint uh, Tri-Town meeting, you, you guys threw out a number of, we only expect four. You know, four or five trucks to go through town. So why not turn around and just say, okay, we'll put a threshold of, of six, let's say, and then and then if that exceeds there, we've got to, to, to revisit and open this back up. That's, that's already four. That's so essentially what we're yeah. talking about. That's what, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, what that's what he's saying. Numbers in the January traffic studies. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's what he's 40 saying. 40 trucks going into the site, 40 trucks leaving the site on a typical day, yeah. right? So 10% of that is four trucks going mm -hmm. in, four trucks going out. Mm -hmm. You're off by 20%, it's six trucks going in, six trucks when you look at coming in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If once you hit that threshold of six going in, six going out, then you have, you have the, the checks and balances okay. of the previous life mm -hmm. to to come back and ask for that. Material. I mean, that, that's what this process is, is okay. going through. Okay. Quickly, a couple of other things. Uh, there was a recommendation to designate a snow clearing station on the site so the trucks are not out on the public streets uh, or on the highway with, with snow flying off of them, uh, off of their uh, About the top of the truck, so uh, there's actually right here again. This is on the north side of the building. There's actually a, a designated area where, where snow clearing would happen after a snowstorm for, for the trucks to clean up before they, they head out of the site. So there's an actual designated area for that to happen. We have incorporated that into the site plans at this time. Uh, there's a recommendation, and this was mostly for employees, uh, EV charging stations or at a minimum have EV ready, so that if, if the tenant has a certain a, a demand for a certain number of EV charging stations, that there will be stalls that can be retrofitted with EV chargers so that they, they can have uh, charging on site. So that's that's being incorporated into the site plans. So that's, that's just a modification of the site plan right along the front edge. There were a couple of other things I know we talked about it before widening the access so it's easier for vehicles to enter the site so they're not backing out on the Lackey Dam Road. So there are a lot of other uh, site plan related changes that have been built into uh, into the design at this point based on both the site civil peer review as well as the traffic peer review along with the traffic monitoring conditions we talked about. So there was some safety issues that were brought up and I saw them. One was sight lines coming down and doing some vegetation work. Yes. Uh, trees being removed and such. Mm -hmm. And then also at the intersection, the sidewalk that was seen that trucks sometimes come up on that curb, you know, to take that left to the, the Gilboa North. Yeah. Right, before you take that left at the bridge to do some curbing work. And I'm talking about square work. So if a tire of a truck hits that, it doesn't hit a pedestrian or something, you know, so something to be thought about. And it kept saying, you know, limited resources that you guys are going to do minor this. We mentioned it last time. I mean, we would hope you'd look at that a little. Oh, okay. So actually, yeah, you, I mean, you know, it's, it's a little faded up here, but that's the first end. It's right, not, saw that at first. It's not just want to bring it up again. It's actually right. improvements that, that the town and the peer review consultant would have. Good, I just want to make sure that yep. you guys are aware. Did you guys review, like, the traffic going into Shell gas station? Did we talk about that at all? I did see I, that. I, I missed a couple. It was like part of our study area, so. Uh, locations two and three are actually the, the Shell gas station drivers. So they are going to be part of the traffic monitor. So we okay. studied them as part of our uh, traffic analysis. Mm -hmm. So the monitoring uh, will also happen at the same location. So you can mm -hmm. do a before and after comparison. Now, is yeah. there any truth? Do we know, is it public, that there's going to be a complete re redesign of that plaza? 
with uh, tractor trailer diesel fuel, such like that. Yeah. Well, so that's cool. <laughs> really, I think we've heard what you've heard. It's, that. That's, yeah. well, that's, that's, that's what we've we heard. We don't know anything more than you. <laughs> it's at this moment. It is pretty dangerous there. They've right. been at least one fatality there, um, pulling in to that location. So it's it's pretty dangerous, very busy. So I'd just be wondering what is going to happen with the additional traffic, the additional trucks. A lot of it will be, uh, I know. I Maybe it'll be bigger by the time yeah. Yeah. The, the trucks are there. Yeah, it's a little, you know, a lot of, little birdie said. There's a lot of talk like you keep, you know, with trucks and trucks. And, and that's true. They're the largest of the of them there, but the biggest thing is going to be cars. The people that work there. That's going to be your highest number. <laughs> and I'm just thinking they have what? A hundred and, no. How many parking spots do you have for out front? 180. 180, was it? Something how many like per shift? Work, work. 178. And you're going 24 7. So every shift change. How many? Every there shift? could be a possibility. Uh, 300 and whatever vehicles in and out every shift change. That's 24 7, that's non stop. That will be a continuous roll all day long. So, again, the monitoring has certain numbers, the study has yeah, certain projections. Yeah. Right. So I'm just saying, as long as that is definitely included, because on the Gilboa area, I don't think too many trucks, and I agree with Ernie on cutting up through Manchog. I see it now, they do though. They go up, some of them, they do. go straight up past the mill. Yep. Keep on heading up, you're on Central Turnpike on 395, right down the street. And it's a straight shot up through that area. Uh, but your biggest count is going to be cars, your employees. They're all going to use those routes. I know that for a fact. I mean, I, I, mean, I use it for myself to go to work, because I go the opposite way. And I see it every morning, same vehicles, they're all coming down from Central Turnpike through Manchark area. So. I think that's where you're going to see a lot of your count. Not so much your bigger trucks, but your car count will definitely be because that's where your people that are going to be working there are going to be probably coming from. A lot of them, you know. We're monitoring all the vehicle types. Not yeah. Trying to okay. Yeah. Are there any questions that the board wants to ask town council at this time? I just want clarification and so that we can craft our decision in a way that protects the town of all the items that we're suggesting with the post occupancy with um, something enforceable if if the tenant does not uh, keep up their end of the bargain. So if there's something that goes wrong and it needs to be addressed, becomes a nuisance. Um, that's my only concern. If there's a problem, how do we enforce it? Right. If the if the tenant does is not willing to enforce it. Brian, any thought on that? Yeah, if, if I may, I guess from fifty thousand feet, kind of address that a little bit. So, uh, as you might imagine, this is the problem with with a lot of these. And, you know, we're seeing these warehouses in a, in a number of different communities. Uh, most recently, you know, Hobbleston, Norwood, etc. Um, and this is often the question. So uh, I think one of the, the lessons or one of the takeaways is, you know, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, because as you've identified already, um, a lot of these sort of post-construction, post-occupancy mitigation measures, um, you know, might be um, less of a drafting exercise, because between, you know, the applicants council and myself, we can write fantastic conditions um, and spell out the process and everything, but it's the enforceability in the real world that becomes very difficult because by that time, uh, everything's up and running and uh, it's tough to uh, put the genie back in the bottle, as they say. So um, as I mentioned earlier, um, you know, I haven't been provided a copy of the plans or the application or, or um, you know, any of uh, the commentary that's uh, been exchanged. So I'd like to see all that. Uh, and get a better understanding of exactly what you're dealing with. But I'm sure we can contribute some suggestions um, on both ends of this. Uh, one, up front, to have sort of mitigation in place to address some of the immediate concerns um, uh, you know, up front. And then two, um, to start to address some of the, the maybe projected concerns if and when they become realized. 
Um, so I, I think we'll be able to help you on both of those fronts, but we're going to need some more information before we get into that. And, you know, may I just ask a question back, um, just a clarification, because that wasn't part of your, your earlier public hearings on this. Um, it, I, I heard peer review mentioned a couple of times. Was that just traffic peer review? Was that civil engineering peer review? What was the nature of that peer review, and how far along is it? What do you have back? It, it was traffic and engineering peer review okay. for the whole project. So. Yeah, so I'd be very interested in seeing all of that and um, incorporating if the applicant has already the sure link. Already looked at it and, yep. and, and work towards uh, incorporating a lot of the comments and suggestions, but I'd certainly like to take a second look at that. Yep. So like I said, my experience is an ounce of prevention is worth yep. the pound of QR. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Is that good you with the applicant email? also? Yeah, we're happy yeah. to. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Okay. I right. mean, and I will just say again. I mean, the project's awesome. I mean, I yeah. think, and this is the the one part, at least in my eyes, this is the biggest aspect mm -hmm. of this whole project. I would agree. The rest yeah. of it, because they're awesome, perfect, straight on. Okay. Uh, it's this because. But I, I mean, I, I would also like to comment that they, they're doing as much as they can, as much as we yeah, ask, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, to, that's to bring in the information that we've requested to, to try to solve this solution, you know, uh, make it a solution. So appreciate that. Okay. So, so just, you know, sort of next steps, I guess. You know, I, I'm, I'm happy to, to, to talk with Brian if you want to trade thoughts on, on, on some items. We are, as you know, at your schedule for that? a June 17th, I believe, yes. um, mm -hmm. joint public yep. hearing. Yep. We'll go back. Yep. You can see that as the next step for, for us. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, so what else? What's next? Well, what we could do is do, I mean, with contact going back and forth, our next meeting is on 527. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Try to have something hammer it out, if possible. If they can. If they can. Yeah town council and everybody and yeah, yeah. get a set of conditions all laid out and things that are acceptable to everybody and then give the blessing on it and that'll be way before the 17th meeting. Yeah. Uh, I think that, I mean, as you heard at town council, that that's the best way to go because yeah. obviously he's going to want to review it and look at it and see what can be agreed upon. Yeah. Um, I would start a draft decision, you know, and then yeah. From there, town council can weigh in on, on the pieces that he wants to add into that, and you guys can uh, review it together between the three of you, and then it comes back before our mm -hmm. board for a discussion and a review. Right, for, for a blessing I mean, on it. That gives you guys, you know, this time frame in two weeks, roughly. So, oh, if you need more time, that's fine too. But I mean, yeah. well, they're trying to make it for the 17th. Yeah, all we, all, we, all we could do it mm -hmm. at the joint meeting. Yeah. 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 Well, they're trying, I think, from my understanding, at the last meeting we had, you're trying to hammer out each town. Yep. Get it done and over. That way, we're going to go on the 17th. There's yep. a consensus yep. between the three towns, and then that means sure. keep on moving forward. That's fine. Right. We, we thought, yeah. you know, yeah. each individual town has slightly different concerns. So, mm -hmm. the, so your items are, are more traffic, right? Than right. Anything right. Else. So, right. we spent a little time talking about traffic, where Sutton may have architectural issues. Yeah, correct. We'll, yep. we'll work with them on those sorts of things, but yep. ultimately, um, and for Brian's benefit, he doesn't have much background. You know, we've got the three towns we've broken out into these individual sessions. Right. We're going to go to Sutton and, and Oxbridge and do the same thing that we're doing yep. here right. and come back jointly in a joint mm -hmm. session on June 17th. Really, yep. hopefully, at that point, just to we'll be all ready to formalize yep. votes. And, right. and that's what we're shooting for, that's too. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so I mean, I, I think we've. we've I, I think we said as much as we want to say on the traffic tonight. Is is there you we, you have further site plan review items that you want to bring before us, or is it just the traffic? Not unless you have questions. This is really just okay. If, you, if you're not going to do the if you're not going to do the earth removal, I don't know if there's anything much more that we no. are concerned about. No. We haven't identified any. So so the, pretty much the main deal then will be working out something with teeth in it between everybody. Mm -hmm. And then bring it back before us. I mean, I'd say on the 27th, yeah. if you think it'd be ready, and then we can give a, a you know, a we can a probably get drafting um, that decision yeah. with town right. council's assistance. Then, yeah. So if I and, have the blessing from the board to work directly with town council, yes, mm -hmm. yes, you yeah, do. Mm -hmm. I will work with them yeah. to. Because I, I know I know sort of what you're looking for, mm -hmm. and I can yeah. make sure that. Yeah. And, he, and he can review the past meetings. I sent yeah. you his email if you didn't have it. And, and like I said, from the Mike had 
about uh, backup alarms. Yeah. Is there? Is there? Anything? They said they amended something in that report uh, where he had the wrong DB. The low frequency the or whatever alarms. they. Yeah. Okay. So they right. amended that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Reason right. being, the only reason we ask this is normally we get our papers like this. <clears throat> we we don't. I haven't received anything electronically. At least I haven't. So I haven't been seeing a whole lot of it. So there were, so, there were a, a huge slug of submissions that, that went into, I think, the chairs and um, you know, Jen Hager for the yeah. Sutton, she's been posting everything on, on you, their website, okay. which is a great yeah. place to send Brian for information, by the way, that would be where all of those <laughs> Ian, could you um, are, circulate the you link know, to letters, all the board members? Letters, all of that type of information is on, yeah. on there. No, I got like seven emails yesterday or two yeah. days ago with mm -hmm. the yeah. comments. Yeah. Yeah, Because a, a lot of us, I know, I mean, I could do some maybe at night. Like during the day, I don't even have my phone with me. <laughs> stuff, so. and like, yeah. Yeah, like Ernie, yeah. it's sitting over yeah. there. The letters I'm, that I'm we sent, up there, we're so I don't to see put in words yeah. on paper what we yeah. yeah. saying mm -hmm. at the hearing. Yeah, yeah. Giving, that's good. We're giving responses. further responses on any of those items, you know, mm -hmm. just to clarify. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I saw the response regarding the, the monument, the, the Tritown monument. So yep, they're moving that. that. So that's all. I think, I think yeah, the 27th. Then. And at the last Tritown, they said that they amended the report on the noise because of the dust curve. We provided a response to yeah, the on that one too. How, how that's measured. And how they did it. OK. And, and there were conditions also uh, recommended by that report. Oh, yeah. Okay. You want to do 730? Do you have a time certain? Yeah. The, the yeah. 27th? So yep. we have two A&R plans that should be pretty fast. Yeah. Um, so you could do like 735. Yep. 735? Yeah. On um, the 27th? Yep. On the 27th? Yeah. Okay, you you want like 7, 735 on the 27th? Yeah. Do you want to so ask we want anyone? To make a motion then yeah, we have to. Yeah, we have to. It's a public hearing. Yep, so let's ask the audience first. I'm sorry? Yeah. Ask the audience. Ask the audience. If they have any Oh, yeah, I will. Comments. Yeah, I, yeah, okay. All right, is there anybody in the audience that has any questions or comments on this project? Uh, I do. Um, this is Jeff Walsh with Graves Engineering, um, a review consultant for this board as well as the other boards. Okay, um, thank you. It, it, I just want to let you know one, I'm here, two, I'm listening, and three, um, although I'm not here to speak of traffic um, per the discussion we had at the last. Uh, Try meeting um, with respect to the uh, curbing issue near Gilboa. Um, the concern about painting versus some kind of vertical curb was brought up, and I fully support the board's position that um, rather than painting, a vertical type of curb should be used. Um, on site plan reviews, when I look at for the field. Um, traffic, pedestrian traffic, and separating that from vehicle traffic. I'm always looking for exactly what was referenced by the board with respect to vertical green curve or something else. So I support you on that, guys. Okay. Please. Thank you. Thank on you. that, um, my review again is focused on on site. We're nearly done with the stormwater. I'm working with the design engineers, and I have to review some information about groundwater recharge up at the north end. But that's that's all I've got. And I don't really think those were um, any major issues of concern. Um, with this board, I think this board was more focused on the traffic, but I'm here and if you have questions for me at any time now or between meetings, feel free to send along an email and I'll be sure to respond. Thank you. I, I Thank have, you, Jeff. I have one question on that one corner. And I, I don't go down there that often though. Can a 53 foot trailer make that swing without going into oncoming traffic in the other lane? Oh. Which way? The left? If you're coming across the bridge and you're going to go towards the Shell Station, yeah. can a 53-footer go out of there and make that corner and not go into oncoming traffic? It's either yes or no. I would say there'd have to be some give and take. <laughs> they'd have to be. So, that's definitely... Like any intersection. A logging truck can't make it around. Yeah. Coming the other way. <clears throat> coming no up, one, coming no. up, not coming up, Gilboa, turning on to North Street. I, no problem. You got all the room no. in the world. Yeah. I'm, I'm talking about coming the other way. Where yeah. the yeah. curbing is coming the yeah. other way. No, no, no. Where the curbing no. is, if if a truck can make that swing, 
There's no curbing there. No. So, yeah. Right. But now we're other talking other curbing. So no. You, what? Yeah. Well, I think we're talking curbing, curbing on, on the other side, side of the street where the side. sidewalk is, which I've never seen a truck go up on that sidewalk making no. a making a no. left-hand turn ever. I don't care if it's a hundred feet but wide. My it could still play a left-hand turn. Swinging the other way. But coming off traffic. coming off the bridge Brilliant. and turning down Gilbo. No. Should no. that radius be looked at? A 53 footer would would probably have to with the long track. It'd have to be a little bit of give and take. He ain't gonna make it. Some truck coming around with a sleeper and a big three yeah. quarter. I did yeah, have to but I mean, back the speed limit is 25 miles truck. an hour there, and, and if you if, yeah. you, if you if you're no. if you're doing what you're supposed to do, but I had to go over be a problem. But if you're stopped uh, there or cars are coming, they have to stop, reverse and, and reverse. I up did that for him to come last week. The yeah, yeah I mean, for a logging truck. Yeah, yeah. it may yeah. need to have three to be people a, reverse a stop sign with that line brought back enough. And that's that, why that yeah. intersection is rated as bad as. The, yeah, I mean, I know that I know there's been talk about doing something with that intersection, I, but okay, there's cool. been nothing definite planned for it yet. So, um, well, the only reason I'm asking is, is if you that, know on 146 in, in Millbury where they're coming around up on the ramps now. Yeah, they do that soft curb now, where it's not really a curb, but yet it is, but it's. Is laid out so the trucks for the tandems, they can cut around it, and you're not going into the other lane. Right. Yeah. And you and you're you're not blowing out tires on a right four inch high granite curbing. That's that's I mean, my that's concern on granite that's curbing. Really that's really addressed, or is that beyond the scope? Yeah. But, but that that'll all be. We can all we, we can, can discuss all them. that. I mean, that's that's Jeff. for an engineer to decide. Between <laughs> Jeff Walsh. With Jeff and, and our council, you know, or the top of the scope, so or so what the deal is. Yeah. I mean. When you start talking about doing improvements to the roads what like that, it's, it's the highway. safety committee and the town fathers because they're the highway, they're the highway commission. Just let it be on record and be known yeah. of the concern about yeah, yeah, there's a concern about it. So, but as far as what the actual work would be, we'd have to work with them and then yeah. with the, the, the town well, fathers. Our, our traffic consultant is online, which is from G P I. Yes. Hi. Hi. A couple of things that I, I heard come up about the, uh, the Gilboa Street and North Street intersection. Um, so the curbing that we were talking about was actually on the north side of Gilboa Street. Right, yes. So that, um, as a truck's coming around and taking that left-hand turn, there's really no reason for them to be coming up on that curbing. No, no. right. Plenty we're of room the other way. If it's coming up North Street and taking a right-hand turn, right. there's already a pretty wide radius there that does help. Um, but I did notice some trucks crossing the center line when we were out there. Yep, they do. It does happen uh, that they're crossing the center line of the westbound traffic. Um, but again, they have to stop anyway on North Street and let that westbound traffic come through before they're making the movement anyway. But they are crossing the center line. Um, but I don't think the curbing is so much the issue there. Part of the reason that we were recommending the striping is because at nighttime it's it's hard to see in particular, um, and even in, during the daytime because there's there's no type of visual separation between the the edge of the roadway and the sidewalk there. It's all the same color and everything. Right. Uh, having the curbing would would definitely help to provide that additional separation if if a truck's taking a turn too wide, they're not going to go up on the sidewalk in that case. Um, one of the other things that I did want to mention, though, that I heard in Vinod's presentation was that they were using a 25% threshold. So if the traffic volumes were 25% more than what was projected in the traffic study, then they would be looking at some type of mitigation measures. Um, our original recommendation was for a 10% threshold. Um, which I think should still be applicable, at least to the total traffic volume that's coming through. I understand when you're talking about 10%, that could be a difference of just one truck on any mm -hmm. given day when you're talking about truck volumes. But 10% um, is typically the threshold that's used um, in MEPA studies for when you would have to file a notice of project change. It's typically the threshold that's used by Mass DOT for their monitoring studies. Um, I think 25% is a little bit light, um, so I would recommend going with a, a lesser threshold than that 25% that was mentioned. Yeah, Thank you. It might not mean much for four track trucks, but when you talk about 140 cars, 25% is a lot. You know, it's, it's all based on the So numbers. it's additional to the four, right? To the 40, 10%, right? 
Yeah, so uh, one, one thing I do want to mention though, that yes, NEPA, again, and we're talking about a local traffic review here. Uh, NEPA, the state environmental review process, designates 10% for when a project change is considered, but a change that is considered significant from based on NEPA guidelines is 25%. 25%. I mean, again, you know, it's, it's, it's a number, but we, we can work out the specific, whether it's 10% or 25 But I do want to note that 25% is where a change is deemed significant according to the guidelines. Are we still talking one additional car? Yeah. So 25% of four? Truck. Trucks. 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 Right. Yeah, trucks. Okay, right. so We're even not. if you did 10%, it's still one. It's still one. And 25% is one. You're using trucks. If, if trucks is the measure that yeah. you're talking about, then right. yeah, it, it's, you're talking about one, one or two trucks. It, it would be with the cars, but the employees, that's where the number would come from. Would be bigger ordinary. Numbers. Right, right. Because you have 170 parking it. spots doubled up times three shifts. So maybe 25% right. for trucks, 10% for yeah. cars. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then what do we have for cars? 180. Um, there's no consideration, though, right? Because they're just. You know, it's, it's whatever threshold you would use to check if there is an impact is the yeah. same number. So oh, okay. the, the, the car number, it applies to cars, vans, and trucks. Okay. That, that's that's sort great. Of the key Thank you. It's, 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 is there a greater number and is there an impact? Mm -hmm. yeah. What that impact is. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there could be no impact. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, oh, I see. Yeah. I see some coming from that direction, from our direction of town, but some probably coming from Worcester. Some coming from South. Some coming right, from, coming from all over. East. I mean, it's, it's not going to be all 170 employees coming from no. Douglas. They'd be coming from. So, do we need we'll to make a, a decision increase, on what number that we would like to see them use? Twenty. I don't know. First, the what? What number? What percentage? If it's the 10 percent, as. Uh, suggested, or if we're good with the 25 percent, will that be something that Let's see what they want to bring in front of us? I'm good with what the consultant said, which was 10 percent. So, far we had the consultant there. I get, I get that 18 versus yeah, if it's 178. Well, yeah, is that a trigger? 18 plus. But, but we don't remember what their projections are. Maybe we didn't see the projections of how many vans yeah, sure or how many the, cars. It's in the traffic study. It's in sure. the traffic study. Yeah. Right. I mean, I ain't no. Uh, Would you be agreeable to the 10% so you, you as could, an impact? You could also look at trucks and cars. Separate. Different numbers. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because for trucks, it's it's such a small number. I would be okay with a 25. 25 I'd be okay yeah. with 25 yeah. 10. Yeah. 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 It's the same exact thing. Van, is that for vans as well, the 10? 10% for the vans? Because it'd be a lot. Or in case the van uh, business moves in. In case, well, in case. <laughs> we're just saying, coming up with something, you know, yeah. accord between us. Yeah. So right. be a split. Anything else? Split percentage. Uh, right. Yeah. Yeah. At our last try time, you, you mentioned that this wouldn't be a last mile? Correct. Okay. So that would be in the decision. Right. So as long as we get that. Yeah, on the record. They guaranteed it wouldn't should, be a last mile. Yeah, yeah, they guaranteed it it's not a last mile. Okay. Well, right? Yeah. Or what? You can't okay. you can't guarantee that. <laughs> I don't know. I mean the truck. You gotta get with whoever's gonna pay the most money. Oh, yeah. Who's yeah. ever's gonna go it's there? Goal, right. but yeah, I, right. so, you can't guarantee. I wouldn't be preventative on no. that. No, but the idea but, is, but everything they would need to be come back in front of us. But and, everything would need to be adjusted. So I don't right. know why we would hinder them from getting a tenant, a last mile tenant. Yeah. If they're gonna come back anyway, if the numbers oh, aren't, well, aren't appropriate, I think they got a good hold on it. I'm I'm very happy with that plan you just explained, yeah. and with the back back up from town council and in all the foot figures yeah. and shots and numbers and the implementation implementation of of the change if it, if it happens. To, I think it's a yeah. I think it's a real good study, and I'm happy with it. So else? There's only so much we can do as far as what we have authority to do. And well, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I, think, I, I think I wouldn't want to put can't any kind of can't use the hindering. Vote. Yeah, no, no, no I, I don't think. No, so I like I like it. I'm 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 on board. I'm good with it. With the 25 and 10, in 10, 25 and 10. Is that what we're doing? 
Yes. I think that's yeah, right. I mean, what, yeah. What, yeah. what? Yeah, they can yeah. do it. Sure. Cool sure. beans. All right, anything further? I think we're not. Yeah. We got, I we got appreciate other the presentation because so. yeah. it's definitely a little anything bit different else? than having all the people on and Doing not everything. really grasping. Yeah. And yeah, so I appreciate but, you guys coming here in person. You guys, yeah, no, it's great. great. It's, in person, it's, it's different. Yeah, it's yeah, definitely it's very, different. It's, yeah, it's so much and more different. Able to focus on the main <laughs> item. Yeah. The rest of it appreciate you coming in very much. Happy to come. We'll be here. All right, so we'll disregard the earth removal for now unless well, that. I interrupt. Is this open to the public yet? Yes. Or? I'm sorry? Yeah, is it, it's the public. Oh, we, uh, I asked if anybody wanted. Yeah, is, do you, some. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, name and address, please. Just have the opportunity. Yeah. Anyway, Scott Duncan, 106 Gilboa Street. With the traffic study done, was that the traffic study that was done during the pandemic when everybody was staying home working? You can have the dates on it. Yeah. It's going to adjust I, yeah, it. I can clarify that. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so the Department of Transportation, Mass DOT, has issued guidance last year on how to perform traffic studies during the pandemic conditions. But it's, it's applicable to any project in the state. And the town's peer review consultant, GPI, reviewed the methodology. DOT's traffic engineers reviewed the methodology. So we collected the data, and then there's a way to bump it up, the numbers to, to, affect, uh, to reflect the pre-COVID or a typical condition, not a COVID condition. So the numbers oh, okay. are representative of, of, of an average condition, not COVID conditions. Okay, so the answer to your question is that that was taken into consideration during the study and it, is, question, it does yeah. include that. And then uh, the next thing is, well, uh, what, when you were saying, Ernie, about the traffic slowing down over there, why not just put a traffic light in at the four corners? That will totally slow everybody down, and then they're not going to want to use that area. But we're not either. <laughs> yeah, we, we we don't have the authority to to put traffic lights in. We that that's that's totally a different How many do we have? animal. But there's a number of options we're looking at. Yeah, but there are options we're looking at, but that's not that's not within the scope of this board to to make that decision. Yeah. Okay, and then also with the parking lot across the street. Is there any way we can get it so that that is not going to be a truck stop? Mm, nope. The uh, that could be discussed, yeah, because that is the town-owned property. So, yeah, if I, that's a concern, that can it. be brought up. Yes. Who's going to enforce it? Put signs Q up. And the police. Not, can't be a QA. Who's going to enforce it? I, I don't. But I said it was it's, something we could we could discuss, stop, yeah. but I couldn't say we, we could, could enforce it. But that's an issue that we hadn't prevent. thought of. Um, but it, that is a piece of town-owned property, so no overnight park that that could be discussed. <laughs> part of no queuing, no queuing, no overnight, no sleeping. Yeah, yeah that's that, yeah. This yeah. I mean, yeah, the, the, tree, the tree companies really the use that thing. for their staging areas. Yeah, the tree companies use it for their with staging. permission. Correct. Yeah. Right. Yeah. With permission. Yeah. With permission. Yeah. Oh. yeah. That. Thank you. That's that's a good question. Well, if that if that happens, we'll have to look into that. Yeah. Sleeping overnight. Right. You know, no. possibly. We're with you, Scott. You know, that, don't see if there's an issue where the guys are coming to that facility, past the facility, find this parking lot, they pull in the parking lot, and then all of a sudden, all these other trucks are coming mm -hmm. out, yeah. parking, and people yeah. are yeah, sleeping it. in okay. there. Yeah, no. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's right next to the water. Great, great point. Yeah, that, I mean, something could be implemented, like no overnight parking or no, you know, I mean, you know that's, that's a great point, and we haven't even thought about that. Well, so, I yeah, think, that's something to think about. No idling? You know, because they, they yeah, right, sleep exactly. in there, they're idling. Yeah, you know, so. yeah you know, thank even you. With, even with the pony generators running, that it's, it was bad to a point over here with just like one or two trucks. Yeah, we hear you. Right. All right. Okay, anything else? No, that, that's pretty much it. That was, All right, thank you for your uh, thank you. That was input. Good. That was good. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Do you know where he's talking about? Yeah. yeah. Across from the golf like very yeah. 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 The pain, yeah. The pain, yeah. I, I can only imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That would still have nothing to do with them. That's no, I'm just saying, yeah. just if they knew yeah, that's that's yeah. it becomes a town issue, the town. Right. Yeah. Anything else? No? Okay, well, good. Then we'll see you on the uh, uh, 27th. The 27th? 735. I'll make a motion to uh, continue the public hearing to 527 at 735 for the Chanel Properties Warehouse. Second. Motion made by Mike Z, seconded by Jake. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? The motion carries. We'll see you then. Thanks, Thank guys. you very much Thank for you. coming Thank in. You. Thank you Appreciate much. it. In the meantime, I will be in touch with the uh, 
town yeah. council yeah. and we'll start working on those decisions work on the conditions great Correct. thank you ian yep. yeah that'd be perfect yeah. Yeah, Are we making be. a condition to go from the to do with the ten percent threshold for cars and vans? Oh. Yeah. Are we including yeah. that? Yeah. Twenty five for the trucks. To include that. Twenty five for trucks. Yeah. Okay. Twenty five for trucks. Yep. And cars. Yeah. Okay. Make that. All right. Yeah. Okay. Where are we on the agenda now? Public uh, hearings are done. Discussion one. Public hearings are done, right? Yep. 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 Okay. We have. Uh, we have. Uh, all right. We're on right. page two. Talk. This could be in the center. Right. All right, we're going to go into uh, number one. Yep. 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 Okay. For discussion, uh, Ray Whitehead, Douglas Convenience Center, 74 Main Street. Come on up. Uh, my name is Ray Whitehead. Um, I live in Webster, but I own and operate Family Convenience Center at 63 Main Street. We were here a few months ago to talk about an expansion project and uh, basically because of riverfront restrictions and regulations that design uh, rendered itself unuseful for our needs so we're here to bring to your attention our plan b which is tonight a, to uh, possibly build a brand new gas station convenience store liquor store dunkin donuts across the street 74 main street next to the fire station. Okay. And, oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, we own that land now. This really was Plan B. This is a much more expensive plan. But when I consider the uh, issues that we're having at the store, primarily public safety, the Dunkin' Donuts queuing, the parking, the traffic coming in and out with the dispensers right by the road, yep. it's. Uh, we could list 20 things. We've outgrown the facility. The sale, everything is just in every aspect of it, we've outgrown it. And we wish to go to something like this. Now, this is our first draft. Um, and we just wanted to introduce the project to you and get any feedback we can so we can take any steps necessary for when we officially file with you, we can hopefully address a lot of the situations. This is very similar to what you might have seen a couple of years ago from the predecessor, mm -hmm. who I was pretty vocal on. Not allowing. <laughs> that was then. That was then. You now. paid the price. <laughs> and that's why you I'm won. Uh, so uh, basically, to me, these are undetermined, the access yeah. in and out on both Rydell and Main Street. We know we have to do a traffic study. We know there's a lot of work to do. We know there's possible turning lane considerations. Uh, I knew you were going to go there. Yeah. So, because that was already determined on the last one. Yes. That yeah. The state said there needs to be one. Right. Now I didn't read that in the filings, but I know um, that was there was a study. I think yeah, in the was. state. They said that it needs to be a turning lane. If there's I don't remember, but yeah, yeah. I, I that's very possible. Yeah. Do the Go ahead. Yeah, they had a traffic study too. Done. They had a traffic study. Yeah. This is a different use because it'll have a gas station. Yeah. So I expect that that traffic study may not be relevant. Yeah. Um, and you know we can certainly reference. Should it, be but, close. Yeah. Um, this particular drawing, it was our first rendition. We we are working on a second, a slightly bigger building. And um, but our biggest issue is that this is a zone two uh, wellhead protection area, Aquifer. and you're not allowed to have a gas station here, uh, per Douglas bylaws, and you're not allowed to have gas storage tanks here above ground or below ground. Uh, we are working with the zoning board of appeals to surrender our existing gas station. We can't have <laughs> for a new gas station. We can't have. <laughs> um, with nothing but the new state-of-the-art, mm -hmm. uh, better protection yep. for everybody, better yeah. traffic, for better, better, better everything that this mm -hmm. site could possibly offer. So mm -hmm. we're we're hopeful. The other thing, you know, from an environmental standpoint, we have 35-year-old steel tanks 50 feet from a stream. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How about brand new state-of-the-art above-ground tanks, yep. much further away? Yeah. So. I, I, we can't think of a, a negative for the town or for the business, um, obviously safety, but that's part of the reason we're moving or we're thinking of moving is 
traffic safety. So, if I recall on the last one, a couple of things that were brought up. The biggest one was the telephone poles in the yeah. middle of our house. Yeah. You know, if you that, guys that, could move that, that'd be great. Thank that, you. That's number one. Yeah. Number two, definitely there was a turning lane. Yeah. And number three was brought up, and I don't know about it. It was talk about a sidewalk. Oh, yes, there there was a condition on that I did read about a sidewalk. Sidewalk yeah. there. So, um, yeah. And the drive through the ZBA no, no actually. This one, though. Right. Oops, that was the only one. You had no drive through No, I have a drive through No, yeah. there's a drive through Yeah. yeah. Well, it. It. Okay. Duncan's coming over. The ice cream okay. lady's coming over. Everything's gonna yeah. over. coming over. Everything's the drive through was on the other side. Well, we're before. probably going to move it in the next rendition. We're going back and forth. <coughs> okay. We're probably going right. to move it. We're just not going to do that loop de loop thing. Right. Okay. Yeah. So Try that to was the flow a little better. Yeah, yeah that was the more. other issue. So on the gas to right station now. will disappear yeah. where it is now. It will the gas Move station across the street. The operating. gas station will disappear. The building wall. But yeah. but but I will remove the tanks. I will remove the canopy. I will remove the dispensers. Yeah. All the piping. Yeah. I'll render the site non-hazardous. Yeah. Uh, I will then either sell it or lease it to yeah. a retail store. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. um, the other point that Tracy made, right, was was the um, leaving the site onto Rydell. Yes. I think I think that may need to go up a little bit, but mm -hmm. on how the, away from the intersection. Away from the we, intersection, mm -hmm. but then the, 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 there's a slope of the hill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's gonna have to we, we were, and this is why we made it out a little bit. Yeah. We know there's an exit here, exactly where it is. Yeah. I think we need the experts to weigh in. Mm -hmm. I like the line of sight closer to the intersection but obviously too yeah. close to the intersection is no good yeah. so yeah for queuing and stuff and and my comment on the telephone pole is cool. i'd like to make a general comment i'll work with the town to do whatever is necessary i don't know what the answer is i've heard build something a structure around it and i've you heard can, yeah I've heard you can curbing yeah you could area. do curbing yeah as an island yeah, you, yeah. Could, an island you could just do yeah. an yeah. island it would there's, be there's a lot less dangerous that. Yeah. What, what, yeah. What's what's much needed there is an island. Keep right with <laughs> marking. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's you don't know which west. way to go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I don't. Know, that's not your. your I've fault. been in town for twenty years. I don't know which way to turn on to ride down. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever way you want. <laughs> yeah. I know a couple of meetings ago, Ian mentioned that intersection as a possible study location from CMRPC, yeah. and we kind of. It's a quick year for this. You know, nice. when the when the project died, I think. It, Kind yeah, of we had other we priorities, yeah. right? But it can they be were also again. talking about yeah. putting a pole on each side of the road and pulling one out of the middle, so they go right over the top of it and yeah. just get rid of the damn thing in the middle. Yep. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, but if and the that island, was the option. Yeah, the island. I mean, it could be in the middle of the island. So that would give you. No, a, they wanted to get rid of it. No, I know that. So they got that a pole on the that property and a pole on the other side. And yeah. Just so ge so generally, yes. Yeah, so these are the so comments that's, that's generally, the, that's but the ideal. but right. the the real issue is this prohibited use. Right. So yes. the way that I'd like to see it is you go to town meeting and revise the the zoning bylaws. Bylaw. Yeah. Because Why that. Yeah. I mean, that was our plan, our second alternative to just getting a uh, variance. A variance. Be because we're giving one up, it's kind of a unique situation. You know. It's, you you don't have the required hardships that are required to actually legally qualify for a variance though. This is net new. It's net new. <laughs> even though shape, topography, um, that, you, you okay. can't soil conditions, you have gravel there. It's not um we've got to change the bylaw. Yeah. It's okay. there's no way, I mean the zoning board can do whatever they want, but I don't see how you could do that because it would be precedent setting and anybody could do it at that well, point. Well, again, I, I, I thought the precedent setting someone giving up a location that met the same. No, it's uh, unique. It has to be unique to this location. Okay. Yeah. So the. I mean, the zoning board can do whatever they want, and if nobody appeals, that's fine, but the, the decision, I mean, there's no there's no uh, hardships that would actually qualify for a variance. In our bylaw, um, it states no uh, below or above ground facilities. The state, however, does allow 
above ground facilities yeah. in aquifer. I think yeah. they need to be revised. I yeah. think our zoning bylaw needs to be revised. That would be the perfect solution Correct. to this. Mm -hmm. Yes. The thing is, and I would be in favor of that. Yeah, I would be. On too. how long it would take for that process to go through? Would that be we something could, we, could, we could we could draft something for the fall town fall meeting. meeting for the fall town I meeting? Yeah. Yeah. Articles, um, yeah. Over yeah. I yeah. can pull it together and bring it to the next meeting. Yeah. 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 Would not be needed. I mean, yeah. prohibited right. use we're, we're is not allowed. The state yeah. guideline as far as the above ground as on the mm -hmm. the way the state does it and allows it allows in it. the aquifer areas yeah. Yeah. So by for, the for state. Senator, Before so that town meeting would be to align with the state bylaws. Sure. Yes. We want to get ours to align. Yes. The, the this is old. And yep. Well, it would be updated. Updated. To, to what? Yeah. I mean, yeah. back yeah. in the 70s when it was written, the tanks and things and the facilities they have now didn't even exist. Right. It was hardly anything. Right. Now, you know, back then. It didn't then, have an aquifer back then. Our was, <laughs> what, 12, uh, 21 oh. years old? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what I mean. This stuff, the new tanks and things they have today. Right. 2009? Yeah. Well, I thought it was in the 90s, I'm sorry. Oh. No, no the initially, oh, it was yeah, the 70s, then 2004. Well, they weren't even yeah. around with the stuff they have today. Yes. Bob, you have something? Yeah, just one comment. As far as the zoning bylaw change, there's an EDC meeting next week. If you bring that up to them, they could sponsor something like we have been the last two years. Yeah. Yep. So we're talking about yep. a zoning book. Yeah. Yep. We can get it in your hands within two weeks. Yeah. Perfect. It would come. It would come to us. Yes. Well. Perfect. Yeah. 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 And we could I mean, that's the special town meeting. Yeah. Least that's why, risky. That's why I say we, we, we can draft. We can certainly draft so something for the fall yeah, town meeting on. Thank you. you. Yeah. Place. You're welcome. It's the second time. State. We're going to make giving me. Good advice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You you willing to work on that? What's that? All right. The ice cream girl from the street. <laughs> the ice cream girls coming. Yeah. Um, I definitely the Dunkin' Donuts. You definitely planning to move the Dunkin' Donuts across yes. there? Yes. I, I, I've had a verbal discussion with them. They want to come with me across the street. Okay. So, the thing you may want to look at, and I get and I get talking about our street and stuff like that, and this may affect your traffic a little bit is. What is the percentage of people that live to the west that you know visit your store or that come that in that direction house wise that are hitting mm -hmm. your hitting your business versus like on the street? So when you do your traffic study, I think you may have to look at those numbers to figure out we're gonna have more people cutting across, you know, yeah. and go from there. I think the Rydell thing we got have to eliminate the pole in the middle of the island there. For the for, for strictly because of the sight line, it's not that's not oh. your issue, but it's the sight line because you have a problem the way the way that intersection is. You're going to look which which one way. You're always looking to look through the pole as you're pulling, yeah. trying to get around that. There can be there can be stuff done to that intersection yeah, I, and yeah. leave the pole there. That's you just have to have it. turn aisles and, and yeah. signage saying do not enter it right, and keep left or whatever it is. Deep. But that's a I too agree. Deep. But What I'm getting at is ideally the pole moving. This is going to take a little while to go through process. It'd be prudent to get a hold of, say, the telephone company that owns the pole, and say, "Listen, we have a proposal. We know this is a problem. This, everybody in town knows it's a problem. Is there a way of remedying it? Yeah. To get yeah. it taken care of? Yeah. It could be all done, whether you build this or not, yeah, to get rid of the damn pole. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is what I'm getting yeah. at. So now that ideally that'd be the, that'd be the way to go. Yeah, well, right. It's working with the safety committee. Yeah, I, safety. I think. I think That would be a starting point. Yeah. Town safety. Committee. I mean, if if I'm sure if, they're well if, versed if in that intersection. National Grid or that they want to put up a poll. That they they go between before the selectmen with right. a plan, saying this is what they want to do. That's for correct. Work. That's what I'm so saying. It has, to, it has to go through its course. Yeah. There, right. there are a number of polls. If we did a turning lane heading west to to come in here and came over, I think there's more poles in the way. So I think there might be a number of poles that might yeah. need to be moved. Yeah. I that think, that takes a while. That yeah, I'm 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 not, not sure that a telephone pole is considered a hazard in a sight line study. I mean, it, there's poles no, everywhere. No, no. It's <laughs> trees, branches, large objects. Yeah. Telephone poles, I don't think, are, are no. taken into consideration as far as no, but, a sight line. No, but when he takes a turn, <laughs> what if they have great turn? But, they could be. I don't know. But yeah, I've never, I think I've never seen that like come up before. Layers down. So generally, right. the same concerns as the last project that was approved by us. Yeah. Um, and then the the drive through exit yeah yeah and this yeah exactly where 
mm -hmm. if that has to shift if, up. If whether it comes up or down. Mm -hmm. I know the grade comes up here. Yeah. I don't want to be right. uphill, but but I, it probably could move up. I know the initial design was they thought having it in line with the parking spaces yeah. would encourage people to come out this way. And I do know on that one plan you brought in, your biggest thing was to increase parking area. Yeah, by the uh, way. But how parking, much are you increasing over where you're at now? We have like 32, this is 48, we're not done. Okay. This, this parking's coming all the way across. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. We're going to turn these tanks. Mm -hmm. We're going to put in parking over okay. here. Okay. All right. So you're going to be yeah. doing a, lot a much more bigger change. lot, Mike. It's like yeah. we got five, Huge. five acres. Yeah. We're, we're Huge. currently on yeah. tenths of an acre, and this is five point okay. three acres. Mm -hmm. yeah, so they got plenty, of, plenty. No, of but that's what mm -hmm. we're seeing right yeah, now. Yeah, I agree. Yep. Yeah. And, uh, Ray, I know this is very first draft. Yeah. I would maybe consider putting in showing where the fire department entrance exit is on Rydell. Just for safety reasons, okay. so we know whereabouts that mm -hmm. you know that their driveway is versus your driveway. I know it's your first draft; you don't know exactly where it is. Good but point. From Not to have those yeah. the fire trucks coming in and out. Yeah. Ambulance ambulance uses that driveway a lot. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so, something also to consider. I mean, because you've dealt with this with the expansion that you're Park Street is if you take the park a lot to the, to the east where you're coming in to the site. If even if you move that out a little bit, yeah. I mean. Because cause think about if you wanted to grow your business, you need an additional. Well, this space. is a whole bunch of extra land over to the side. I know. We, it's easy to add on to your What he's saying versus. is leave more room for your buildings to come out if you ever wanted to add Oh, uh, okay. Oh, no. Uh, no. Is that yeah, what just, you were saying? Yeah. 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 Just, just thinking about options, whether you want to do those Okay. You know, you know what I mean? I just don't, uh, I want to be able to see you maximize the site as much as possible. Well, so if you've got room for another pad, retail okay. pad, you know what I mean? And that's why you're going to keep the east to the side. Yeah. Right. With the car. Right now, this is 7,200. The next draft, we're going to go to 9,600 because we got some the estimates door. on sprinklering. It's not as expensive as we car. thought it would be. Yep. So, you know, yeah, but you know, budget restraints. We yeah. may come back to this. Right. But, but the next draft is going to be bigger and yep. push everything over 40 and, feet. And if you have cars back into each other, you know, whether back out over that side there. Just spread it out a little bit. Give it another four feet, five feet between. Okay. I just. You mean you mean in here? Yeah, in there. Yeah. I mean th that's where people are. Yeah. They get loose and they start moving around and you have people. I mean, one accident in there yeah. is going to hurt well, your business. One thing that's <laughs> horrible at our existing site is that. You don't think that's an important thing? I'm just looking at Ernie. That's yeah. all. Um, no, nothing to do with you. <laughs> No. <laughs> yeah, no, if you can do it roomy, if if you the rock roll, do it a little roomier. Yeah. Yeah. We, um, everyone has to park on the side and walk around to the front of our, our store currently, or primarily. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and that was what my goal is, to have nothing but pure, unobstructed yeah, parking nice. in front, make it easy. Yeah. And yeah. our distance to the dispensers is also larger than normal. I, I notice. Uh, the shell station I find is very compact. You ever oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's very Definitely. difficult. It's not going to be anything like that. Yep. Um, yeah, Bob, go ahead. Mr. Chair, may I ask Ray one last question? Yeah, go right ahead. As I'm approaching the EDC to delete gasoline sales and above ground storage tanks, there's a little item in it called car washes. Should I eliminate that as well? <laughs> well because if you want to eliminate it, doesn't mean I'm going to do it. I thought we changed that one. So commercial. We added it. We, uh, to yeah, allow we it. added it as oh, yeah. a use. It's prohibited in the aquifer. Yeah. In the aquifer. Yeah. So as long as we're on yeah. roll, we'll yeah. just suggest it. Yeah. Yep. So yes. Great yeah. yeah. I mean, the, the, the filtration and anti-pollution has come a long, long yeah. way. Yeah. 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 And it's always it's required. Yeah. And EPA the monitoring requirement. now is state of the art. Right. When it's 24/7 monitoring and of this stuff. Right. I think, uh, I think the, before we start talking design and all that now, uh, the first objective should be to draft something to yep. change yep. our aquifer mm -hmm. zoning bylaw. Mm -hmm. That would clear the hurdles so much mm -hmm. easier for you. So that's just roadblock. Yes. That's yeah. 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 So remove the roadblock. Because uh, right going to the zoning board, I mean they could say yeah go ahead, but it, somebody somebody appeals. Our bylaw states no. It, it could it could end up in court I, rather than I, being resolved. Years later, you can be still so, <laughs> so, so, so work on your I design. 
Yeah. We'll work on your design. Yep. We'll work on drafting a right. by, a bylaw change for September. Yeah. An amendment to the bylaw. And so change it. it. Yeah. Amendment, and then we and we maybe we can. You'll have your design done. <coughs> yep. We can it boom go. Get ready to go. Yep. Can I just you. ask Bob one question? In um, the table of use for commercial, is it special permit? Special permit for the drive-through window. Okay. Yeah. Special permit from. Is that could change at planning, planning board? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah. And then what about um, the gas filling stations? I think they call it. Planning board. Just site plan, uh, special permit from planning board. In commercial. I don't think there's special permit. What zone is this on? Commercial. Um, I don't have to, we put gas station in, but yeah. this is the old book. Uh, commercial. Online, it's not even updated. Commercial. <laughs> commercial? Yeah, it's a. Uh, uh, oh, this is. I can't. There's a few. I can't control it. This, it's because it's scanned. You can't control it? No, what? control it. There, there oh, yeah, no, yeah, no, it's not. Uh, yeah, a searchable. Yeah, like a term. Um, so, what are we looking right. for specifically? But, um, but the use. The so, if it says um, it's the one that has right, all the. Yeah. So down, it says so gas we'll filling that. station. Commercial gas filling. Should have been number 25. Just in case we need to change that too. Oh, it's not It's not in the most updated um, online. Okay. Shocker. Okay. All right, so we'll get that since, just um, since the, so, the we, so we want the preference for a gas filling station as, a, as of right or as a special permit from planning board under commercial uses. I know industrial, I just looked at it, it was a Y. And I don't know what commercial was. Okay, so. You mean? I would say bike permit. I mean, okay, so try a Y. Try a Y. Instead of PP. Yeah, yeah. It's still, it's still In commercial. For, for site, site plan. plan. Yeah. Commercial. Mm -hmm. Site yeah. plan, special permit. Yeah. So, so it's, yeah. it's site plan, so it would be so a special it's permit. It's still a it's still a special permit. Yeah, right. it's still a special permit because it's right. site plan. Yeah. 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 So it's covered kind of it's the it's covered there yeah. Yeah. anyway. Yeah. All right. So if the bylaws change, then I'd have to apply for the special permit for the gas station and the drive through window. Correct. Right. From here. From here. From here. Yeah. yeah. And your site signage. plan approval. I, well, yeah, yeah. signage yeah. all goes through the planning board. All that. Yeah. Almost to the yep. final board. Right, just on the right side, to the right of the parking lot, the square, yeah, what is that area? This, these are the tanks. above ground gas yes. storage tanks. Okay. Proposed. And, and yeah. we're going to turn them the other way. We'd like to put them in a building, budget permitting, you know, and have it similar to the building. You know, we want to make it pretty. We want to yeah. make it, yeah. it nice. Yeah. And if we put them indoors and it's, you know, not subject to the elements, I mean, it would at least have a canopy and protection around it. But indoors, they'll last forever. And yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. really would be our preference. Yeah. yeah. Great. Okay. I love the design. I love, yeah. the, I love the location. Yeah. I, I yeah. think it's a great improvement. And it's I'm very willing, similar to what we already approved. Very similar to what we already approved. The biggest approved. thing, yeah. if it goes forward, is the correct traffic study to get the correct yeah. left turning yeah. lane. Yeah. 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 Well, may I just on the turning lane? I mean, is, was it a, a, an eastbound turning lane in or a westbound no, no. turning lane? No, no. Uh, eastbound. Eastbound. So oh, yeah. going right going towards road. town. Going towards town. Yeah. So traffic could continue going down, and you'd have a turning yeah. lane. What's people yeah. want to go into the station yes. coming down? The sight yeah, line and issue. The, yes, the, the sun. Sight line issue. Yeah. The sun going sight line issue. Yeah. West. Yeah. Right. Coming up that hill. Yeah. Sun glare. Yeah. yeah. Sun the glare. Sun glare. But I never saw any design, or I didn't, I didn't see any where that, that was on a design. I mean, and I didn't turn away. It, it I think was, was it on or was it towards the very end and then all of a sudden things slowed remember. down because of the uh, the drive through and then it just kind of stopped. I don't remember. I wasn't on the board then, but I do like word of mouth around was that that was something that was, was going to be a turning lane. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that was a definite. And I think the the width of the road I think um, should support it and stuff like that. So. I don't know about all that. Yeah, that, you, that. that could be done in the study. Yeah. Why is it needed now? We don't have problems with turning in there the way things are now, right? The, the problem now would be westbound traffic turning across. Now it would be, yes. Yeah. 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 Well, we've lived with that forever. Is that a problem? 
I think no, the what? issue is no, a eastbound this traffic would be the problem. Traffic that yeah, travels. I know. So yeah. what's the difference? In the morning. In the morning. In the morning, more traffic goes one way than the other. You got a lot of people coming from the west side. If you're coming, if you're going westbound, you can turn right in. If you're coming eastbound, you're going to have to wait for somebody. At seven o'clock in the morning. That that's when you need it. You're going to have a lot of people. That was the thing. Westbound's fine. Eastbound's where you need it. Three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock in the afternoon. We we do have. In, in all fairness, we have two rush times. We have the morning rush and then yeah. the evening mm -hmm. rush. Right. And since we uh, acquired the full liquor license and have more beverages, there's a little bit more evening traffic than we probably had before. Three, four, and then you and then your summertime traffic too. Your summertime well, traffic. Summertime just throws yeah. That's all day. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, it's, from the east or to the east. Well, I, I'd say the typical is they're heading east in the morning and they're heading west in the evening. So, but there's still a fair amount going vice versa. As both well. ways. It's just it used to be they stopped for coffee, but didn't always stop on the way back. Now we get more stopping on the way back also. Yeah, coming back from the back with a wall of lake and stuff wasn't like that. Yeah. Type of stuff done. You know, add pizza or beer and stop. We are considering not pizza, thank you. We have enough. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, well, it's another I think food service of some. We got we got plenty of time to discuss all yeah. that when when. when yeah. But I, I think the first step after that last project is <laughs> with your paper. Yeah. Well, you I know we have the technology up. to get it up there. Right? <laughs> yeah. Thanks very, very much for your yeah. time. Look forward yeah. to seeing you again. Looks good, Ray. We we'll hope, hope we can yeah. get this all worked out. Super. But we'll, we'll do our now, best. What do, what do I need to do? about this get your friends to come vote Talk. for at the meeting yeah okay. make sure you yeah and you yeah. need <laughs> maybe send out a postcard or something well, uh, that'll take a two-thirds vote well, yeah. is no. needed at the oh meeting? yeah 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 still it's non a change on the non-residential yeah. <laughs> do you see that yeah two-thirds vote at yeah. town meeting disappointing yeah. you want to <laughs> meet with you have to meet with bob Meet, meet with Bob, and he, he'll he'll, okay, he'll, work he'll, he'll let you know. He'll let you know what we're going to draft up for his own. Yeah. trying to figure out something with the yeah, we telephone to do a um, a tech review, yeah, and then we can meet with the tech safety. Review. Is that the safety committee, or is that no, no, that's, no, that's no that, that's, 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 if you can get a ball rolling with them about that intersection. Yeah, that's com that's he's the he's a com right. company develop uh, commercial development, yeah. Yeah. and he'll probably he'll have to probably have to buy him a coffee. <laughs> 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 All right, thank All right. You. Thanks, thanks for coming in. Good luck with everything. We'll, we'll be glasses. working with you. Thank you. Are those your glasses? I can't see. I <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, moving on. Cool. Right. All right. Good. At this time, since we have a full board, I would like to know if you want to wait till the end of the meeting to do reorganization or if you would like to do it now and that way if somebody else takes this chair they right here, they can Probably. start, they can and start. I'll make a motion I'll have Trace Sharkey as chair and Ernie Marks as vice chair. Does anybody else have any? Uh, I would nominate Jake just to throw somebody else out there in the mix if he was willing to be accepted. I would willing to be accepted with um, a strong vice chair, I think, to help. Okay. I am still new to the You mean as vice chair? Still, uh, Are you nominating as vice chair? Or? Yeah, I'm just to throw somebody else out there. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it, it's up to you guys. I, I, I'm supporting Tracy if you would like the nomination. I, yes. I would like to step down for a while. Okay. I, I've yeah. been in this chair a long time, and I think it's time for a change. <laughs> <laughs> How long has it been? I, last year 15 kill, years, kill I think. Him. Yeah. All 20, 20 or 25 on the board, but 15 years. Yeah, chair. Chair. When we yeah. came so, on, when um, we came on, you took the chair. Yeah, so it's been at least time. Oh, no, er, um, Evan was there, wasn't he? Yeah. 13, 15. No, Evan no, was vice. Yeah, Evan was vice. Oh, Linda. Yeah. Linda but was then before. We came on yeah. and Linda, the Linda first Brown. year yeah. we when came I got on, on we yes. So it's been 10 years. Yeah, it's been 11, 13, 13. 12, 12 years? No, we just got renominated last year. You were elected in 2010. Two years ago. Oh, has it been first two years? 2010. Oh. Yeah. Was it 10? Okay, it? so. I know that because 20 Nomination for Tracy. Gotcha. Anybody second that? Second. Second. I nominated both of us. Chair and vice chair. one at a time. Oh. Yeah. All right. So, all those in favor of Tracy as chairman? Aye. 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 Thank you. Congratulations. Thank Another you. half. Okay. Now, <laughs> um, if, Jake, if you would, I, I would take co chair if nobody else wants it. If somebody else would like to do it for a while and get some experience, I'll nominate, I'll, I'll nominate Jake. That's okay. good. 
I'll accept yeah. the nomination. I'll second that. All right. Motion been made by me, seconded by Tracy. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Oppose, what? abstain, motion carries, okay. Vice chair, oh, new chair. chair. Oh. I'm, I'm taking this. Seat. I'm, I'm <laughs> taking it. We have to switch. We have to switch. Thank you very much. Thank jump, you jump. for, thank you for um, being the what chair for that long. Oh, Appreciate you. that. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. And you're still on the board. I saw you. Uh, <laughs> I'm staying on. I'm staying on the board. Hey, you can't leave. You can't leave. She can sit there. So she, you want yeah, I can. I can sit. Yeah, that's fine. You can have it right now if you want it. Seat delegate. Oh, you get invited to the Don't annual dinner this me. year. Oh, yes. Yes. You've been doing pretty good with it. So you're, like, you're the delicate in the now. He's retired. No, I wasn't. Oh, oh yeah, all right. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, yeah, 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 delegate for, uh, yeah, delegate for CMRPC. Yeah. Second. Somebody nominated less? I nominated less. Okay, Tracy Second. seconded it? Yeah. Okay. You got a chair? Oh. Okay. <laughs> all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thanks, all right. Liz. Okay. Let's more here. Okay. You so, what's this? Yeah. And we're yeah. on. We already did, Tracy, we already oh, did uh, seven and eight. Mm hmm. We've done one and two. No, 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 we haven't done two no, yet. We haven't done two. One, three. One and three. Yeah. Okay. okay. What is this? I'm trying to read yeah, it. So I'm not getting yeah, it. Yeah, we've done seven and eight. Yeah, I told the seven and eight. Yeah. So. Okay. Thank you. All right. It's all yours. Okay. So, number two, uh, we have this in our packet. Um, the Cheryl is here yep. and Millicent. Oh, okay. Um, do you want to explain your request to the board? Sure. Hello, all. <laughs> um, so we built in uh, 2017 and then 2018 things changed to the uh, subdivision HOA compound, <laughs> whatever it's called. Residential compound. Uh, yeah. And we um, signed all the paperwork and didn't really put too much time to us being part of not being able to sell or build. The uh, time, yeah, 2021, we have changed our minds. So we're hoping that we can be taken off lot as lot three, I believe we are, um, of the covenant to, to be able to sell um, because there's no construction being done on our property nor the part of the driveway to get onto this property so i'm not really understanding yeah. what the request is because if we um we're not going to modify this form F, the covenant. We would release the covenant. Okay. So there needs to be a, a, the paperwork. I don't remember which form it is. Um, so it's a, a no build covenant? Yes, it's a no build and no sell covenant, I believe. Because uh, that was our surety for the road construction? Yes. Okay. And the road, what's the condition of the road? Um, it's it's still in the process of permits being uh, approved, um, yeah, elevations and soil and all of that. But that's beyond our entrance to our, entrance to our home. Um, so I think mm. we're currently on it. Uh, so you were you were made a part of the residential compound. Correct. Right. So the leverage to the town, so you could provide surety. In the amount of a bond for the the um, cost of the roadway right so that would be the only way we could release you your house you were made part of that subdivision right so until the private way gets constructed the your house or that lot is the only leverage that we have you can file um you can get a bond you can get a surety tripart agreement you have to provide the town with something just in case it only gets half built. Gotcha. So you're saying if the road was complete and accepted, then Our, this is completed new. according and to the plan. Right. Yes. Yeah. It's a, yeah. it's a project. And if it's not, part of the contract, which is not complete. Right. Right. Yes. Okay. Right. And it's a private way, so we'll trying to understand. It's it would like be a town drive. accepted road, but yeah. it would have to be approved by. 
engineer. Well, it's going to remain like, a private to, way. The engineer would have, yeah, it would have to be built to the specs. Yeah. Yeah. So on the plan. performance bond. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's what you would provide us, and we would release that lot. So we need to. So we need to come up with an estimate. You have to submit the estimates for the roadway, and then we, and then you would provide us with a bond. So if the roadway is not completed, we would the the town would hold the bond. So we're the owners of um, what was formerly 206 Maple Street, which then got added to the subdivision. Mm -hmm. and the address was changed to Nine Bella Drive. Mm -hmm. um, we did not know that that was part of the agreement. <laughs> um, not quite sure exactly what that any of that means. Um, that our property was is held as a bond or anything for any of that. Um, can you guys explain that a little better? Well, oh, the, yeah. the lawyers never said that. I mean, this is the whole thing with a residential compound is that it's a, it's a family transaction. So the the driveway area, the roadway area that's proposed here, Bella Drive, has to be completed to access those lots mm -hmm. that are part of the residential compound. Mm -hmm. The only surety that the town has to ensure mm -hmm. that the roadway is constructed correctly is the covenants related to the house lot being there. Mm -hmm. um, so if it's not, if the work's not done to the standard, the town doesn't release the house lot, and, and you know, and then that's why you're caught in a situation where either you have to post the surety to make sure the road's done, or it stays as is. Or you complete the road. Or you complete the road. Yeah, and those are your three options. So, so when these are formed, they're sort of a partnership because it's a family. It's a family. Right. I think all the right. lots have the same thing on it. Yeah. Not yeah. They're all Every subject lot. to that. The three Every lot lots. They're all deal. subject to Until it. Until the road's done. The yeah. three lots, and unfortunately, the one lot is already built on. Right. Yeah. And, 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 the, and the, reason, the reason why this is done is because, you know, over over the course of time, People sell there could be three separate different owners, and they right. want to ensure that the road has met the standard Plus, to be able to service those three homes. By our normal rules and regulations, you, you wouldn't get to build those three homes. Correct. You, know, you only had one house lot there. Yes. By us give, conceding some rules and regulations and you guaranteeing your part of the end of the deal that yes. the road would be built. Then we gave you ex we gave you those house lots, but you still have to complete your end of the deal. Yeah, we're actually, well, I'm, not, I'm not the homeowner of the additional properties. I'm the homeowner of one. I'm Carolyn Cosmo. Yeah, I own sure. lot number three. Yeah. But it's but that was all part of the whole deal when this came in. But yeah, you're, 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 everything if you're, was known. Was if your property's in the in the in the residential compound development on the plan, and you're part of the, the, the compound, them. then it was all that, that, that that's. That's the way it was written up. It was and all I guess, brought to the planning board. Yeah, and I, I guess I would. What can he do to ensure to? Can he do something so that we can release? He that? could pony up money to do the bond. So I mean, it could help you. It's family. And, I think, right? and also, if you say that there is a different owner, it was not supposed to be uh, conveyed. Oh yeah. yeah. The undersigned will not sell or convey until um, it until the construction of the ways. Yeah. So no. I'm not sure how a no, different no, owner got, no, huh? Uh, it's the same owner, common same owner. Same family. Oh, same family. Yeah, same family. yeah, it's all the same so it, family. Okay, so you're not. So that was incorrect when you said that you don't own. Oh, up that. top, there's another Cosmo. Yeah, so it's the same owner. We can't. We would just you. be provided. We would just need to be provided with the bond. Correct. What does that mean? You you have to see a construction specialist that builds roadways and they have to provide a dollar estimate of how to you know looking at the road that's required here they have to put a dollar value on that and then we have to approve it to accept the bond and then that would release the lots there to ensure that the roadway is completed as it stated as in it form stated, f if covenant the, if the road doesn't get completed then we pull the bond and then we, we do it you have you have to put the money up to finish the road as a bond. That's what it's called. It's called a bond. It's an insurance policy, right? Oh, yeah. uh, sure. Yeah. 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 Or you can put up a lot. That's another way of doing it. But uh, those are the three. But you can't you can't do further construction or further development on the property or, or change anything unless you finish the roadway first. You have to finish the roadway first, and then if you haven't finished the roadway, then you have to put up the money to finish the roadway. 
uh, guarantee that it's going to be done with a bond or, or, or lots, one or the other. There's several ways you can do it, but yeah. you, you uh, develop the piece of property as a residential down. compound, which has you put a lien, rules and regulations. You put a lien on one of my lots? And no. 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 Nobody has a lien. No. It, it's a covenant is on it. Right. It's a covenant signed by which lawyers. Which is an encumbrance. And, yeah. yeah. I mean one of the, my lots. I'm the owner of the other two lots. Correct. Yeah. All three, right? Then you're part of then you're part of the I, compound. I'm yep. John Cosmo. Yep. I'm uh, the owner and applicant of the Bellawood subdivision. Yep. I'm the yep. person doing the construction. Yeah. Okay. Like uh, done. <laughs> we had a lot of delays. I kind of put it off a little bit at the beginning, and then we got hit with the virus, and uh, oh, yeah. everything got delayed. I, I was talking with Bill in the fall, last, the end of night, uh, 2020, was, I um, gave him pre-construction slips and everything, we were moving ahead, and um, then we ran into bad weather, and now I've, Bill's gone, I've been talking with Ken, the building department, to get things rolling again on it, and uh, we're going to start moving along with it pretty quick pretty soon now right. and right away and so is this the way we have to go is with a bond or mm -hmm. or finish it lean on or cash no or put a lead, lead. Or no. something easier than i don't know what uh you can have a cash account turn one of my watch over to you or, so he can have a bank book uh, no a cash account the easiest way to do it the easiest way for the surety would be supplying us with the cash in an account that the town would hold for the for the construction of the roadway. Yeah, it's a, it's just mostly fill, gravel, um, you know, yep. DOT approved stuff. I've been having right. a hard time finding that too. Pine, I kept failing over there for the, the right gravel, mm. um, having a hard time getting it and finding it. So. Yep. It's, it's mostly gravel and you know labor, okay. and then there's other things that uh, might be a little okay. bit of drainage in so, there or something. So yeah. Ian, if you could um, correspond with them uh -huh. to um, give them the options according to our bylaw, um, they'd have to send us the estimate. We'd have to approve, <coughs> review, and approve of the estimate, yeah. and then approve of the surety type. Yeah. Yep. And who's to determine how far along that roadway is we and how much further it has to go? Well, I mean, Bill, and, Bill was inspecting the project. We could get a projects. third party person. Well, I mean. There must be we money have in here. Doing well, that. that's, what, that's why I'm asking. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we, well have review, we have review money. Correct. Okay. So yeah. we'll I'm have to pull that up. It's been a while since it's been right. looked at. We need yeah, to know is, status. Is 53G money in the account? Yeah, I would. Yeah, we would have to just double check that. And then, yeah, yeah. Somebody to go out and, to and then we'll just ha the hire um, either LEI or um, um, Graves. So t mm -hmm. tell, tell me, the new, one of the new guys on this board, on a family compound, if somebody like us was to do it, and there's three, say, three lots, and there's a, a daughter, and another daughter, and then there's the father. Mm -hmm. After that road is built, the daughter can sell to a guy from Africa or wherever in the world. Yeah. Sell that lot, right? You yeah. can sell as the long lot. as this is released. Right. As long as, as, oh, long okay. as they, as yeah. long as they yeah. So it's There's not a forever and In the mortgage no. and no, in the it's deed, it's, release. it reflects the that they're part of that compound. compound. Yeah. Yeah. So they know what well, they're buying. And it's just a residential compound. It's not a family compound. Right. It's residential. It's residential. It's not yeah. necessarily so it family. Family's not a word. Families, yeah. Families tend to go that, do that, but it doesn't have to be a family compound. Once the road's done and the obligations are met, Mm -hmm. Then it's released. Mm -hmm. okay. Then, it, then, then right it can be, anything can be done. Mm -hmm. So there's no release. Yeah. But as long as they all stay within that tripartite yeah. agreement, so that yeah. everybody they knows they have, they have yeah. the responsibility That's to keep in the road in, in condition as most yeah. can. And then there's a homeowners association. That yeah. Right. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Correct. Yes, it's spelled yeah. out with the responsibility. See, so you're very um, familiar with it. Yeah. And, and yeah. You know, that's all in place. All right. Very good. Okay. So you have a game plan. Okay. Yep. So the reason that this has come up is because we have we did put our home on the market and we have accepted an offer and hey. we're running into issues because of this covenant that we can't sell. Okay. Um, is there a way to 
Get this done quickly. Or... Get a bond. Cash, cash bond. Cash bond. If cash you, bond. If that's you the, that's get us a check. That's the only way. Yeah, that's the You don't have to build the road, the approved, just cash bond. On the yeah. approved well, amount. Well, have to get well eventually. It's, it's, the buyer's and it's DOT. And really release that anyways, too, with that hold. Can't. No. <laughs> so, Can't. No. Yeah. So if you guys received a cash bond, so any amount that the road is, way is going to cost, mm -hmm. you would have to get immediately release our home? Mm -hmm. sold or would we have mm -hmm. to go to another town meeting? No, no, it would come to this board and then we have to come to this board, yeah. And you would have to also fill out the appropriate form. It works. For the release. And Ian's going to send that. Right yeah. Are you going to receive that? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's, it's on the website also under forms See, for planning board. Right. You're not just selling your home to another buyer. You're selling a home that's mm -hmm. involved Sometimes. with a residential compound, which means Everybody in that compound has a responsibility to the maintenance of the road and the upkeep mm -hmm. of the property. Correct. Not just your property, but is right. Ready, excited. So we just want to, you know, move through with that. Um, they're aware that they're going to have to maintain after the fact and that the road is under construction. Um, they've seen all the documents. That's part of the trial. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. It's going to be two more homes built. Um, that's why we're trying to protect them. Yes. Yeah. So that's that's the protection um, they, of the people living there. We've um, seen, and it was actually their lawyers that, or our lawyer, our realtor uh, lawyer that caught it. Yep. Caught yep. that. Um, yep. Right. Okay. Yeah, it's Thank it's not real difficult. It's just a couple of things you have to meet to finish the project so that you have the ability to, to sell then. But okay. And is that something that that um that we'll be able to do? Like within a month or so, do you think? Yeah. Our, our next meeting is the 27th. It depends on how quickly. You yeah. Can. yeah. If you have yeah, your our next attorney. Meeting is the 27th, so if you get everything done you, and you can talk to our agent uh, that at, at the building department and yep. Yeah. But if you get everything done and you want to get on the next meeting, just call and, and ask if there's a space available and mm -hmm. we can meet again. Just so who's the, should I contact the contact person or will you be contacting us? So you can people. also have your attorney just get the proper paperwork. They can, um, mm -hmm. Ian's going to email you what's required, and then your attorney can review it since they're familiar with the covenant in order to Post get insurance. that, yeah, get that taken care of. Yep. yep. Okay. So, but we also need that estimate for the roadway. Yes. yes. And it needs to be approved by us, too. Yeah. DOT. Yeah, and you'd still want that bond. Correct. Correct, yep. Correct? Yep. Okay. Or the cash. You can do Power performance bond. Money. There's right. three different things that are Either approved. One. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Cool. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank um, you. All right. Thank Good night. night. Um, White and Reservoir Estates, they're not on? Or are they on? White and Reservoir. White and Reservoir, White and reservoir Estates. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, thank so you. thank You're you. Welcome. Have thank a good you. night. Thank you. Yep. So. Um, so we made it pretty clear that mm -hmm. because we released the lots, right. yeah. which the majority of the board agreed to do, yeah. that we wanted an to. update. Um, did Has anybody been up there? I, I, haven't been, I haven't been up there, but send Ken or no. I can send Ken or no. Okay. I'll uh, send Ken a note just to say to that ch we check on the status. That mm -hmm. And that's meeting, and uh, I'll find copy of the board like mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. um, they're expected at our five thirteen meeting. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to make a comment. This is why mm -hmm. I didn't want to release so many houses lots last mm -hmm. time because of this. Yeah. They play the game. Mm -hmm. And they've been doing it right along. Mm -hmm. And here we go again. They're yeah. playing the game. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we need um, somebody on the ground out there. Okay. Um, the ASD Walm Mass Solar Decommissioning Agreement. Did we get anything for that? They're not here. Nope. Okay. Maria said she hasn't seen, heard of it. All right, from so we'll either. keep that on under discussion. Um, stone Slope Stabilization. I know I'd requested um, oh, yeah. a plan showing yeah. the change. Did we get anything from Eric? No. Is that? Um, the only plan that I saw was dated um, in April. Okay. So. So same. If you could report back to him that we're looking for so that plan as good. yeah, Always as requested that. from the last meeting. And then sign decisions. So did the applicants get the two decisions? Yes. Okay. So 
Carol Gugolinski received her decision. Joel Constantine received his decision. I only heard back from Joel mm -hmm. with a very minor correction okay. to make that it was something on my end that I just messed up. Okay. Um, and I made the, so that is all in there for you okay. to sign. And Did anybody else have any revisions to the decision? Either one of them? No. Well, I would probably want to wait for uh, Carol and William to respond. To yeah, I saw this. Carol the other day. She said she hadn't made up her mind what she was going to do yet. I don't know. Have, you, have we had any contact with her? Mm -hmm. I sent it to her with plenty of time to respond if she had any comments on the decision. Yeah. It's whether or not I think she wants to appeal is what she's making up her mind. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it then and they can, yeah, she's yeah. obvious. I, yeah. I would think that her method would be to appeal. Yeah. So, so, so yeah. Um, for the decision. So I, I would just, I don't think she's going to have any comments to yeah. change the but decision. We have to make sure she gets the copy so. before we, we I don't yeah. really, so. what, How long did she have the copy for? I sent her the decision on um, April 29th. It's been, yeah, it's been two, over two, two weeks. Two, two, and yeah. no response back either? No response back. I mean, if there's, That's, yeah, she's, she had adequate time. it's time to move forward with, More than yeah. Two weeks. Okay. I'll go to she. Mm -hmm. yep. Lost that vote here, right? Yeah. It was, it was more than two weeks. If you said two weeks ago. Yeah. It was two weeks ago since I sent the um, a draft decision to her, right. showing you know, do you have any comments to make? Oh, oh, and oh, okay. didn't hear back. Norman, right. I don't know who's that. Okay. Hey Norman. One once. No one just wants to stay on. Is okay. Norman in there? I don't know. <laughs> okay, wait, let me just double check the agenda before. And you're going to be like two minutes, right? Less than. Okay, <laughs> sign vouchers and then meeting minutes. Yeah, we already went through minutes. Meeting okay, minutes. all right, so. No, we didn't. No, There's we, nothing here. There's nothing in our packets, and we've already picked up the one. I know that. That's the point I was going to Okay, make. so. We, we're missing three. We have the, the last three. We have March. March. Yep. So, That's Ian, there. could you double check on those meeting minutes? If they want to send them to me, I can proof them. I think she just has to receive something. Like, I think she just receives it from the meeting taker. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Um, I'll see if she's in. I'll see if uh, Maria's in tomorrow, and I'll send her. I'll shoot her an email. Okay. And see if she responds. I'll get access to the um, copy tomorrow. Yeah. Friday. Oh, well, half of So, seeing them run into the EDC yep. on this eliminating above ground storage tanks, what I've got in front of you, so we're all looking at the same thing above ground storage in or transmission of will leave oil, delete gasoline, but he plans on having diesel. Diesel is not listed, but it would be included in other liquid petroleum products. Mm -hmm. Do we want to delete other petroleum products? Yeah, I think you want or to. Or add diesel. diesel. Well, the, well, if we add diesel, then we have to take it out. Yeah. Oh, right. It's yeah. not there. Okay, so it's a liquefied petroleum. But petroleum, a diesel is a liquid, liquid petroleum product. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you want to handle this? Well, then it's allowed, right? If it's not there. It's already allowed. Right, diesel would be allowed. Unless it's captured with But if what if somebody brings other. up that diesel is a liquid petroleum product? True. It yeah. is. Then it's not allowed. Right. Yeah. There's a gray area here. And I want to go it wasn't with EDC with yeah. black and white. The reason yeah. they did this is because I think, I mean, as we all know, there's other fuels coming out too. Right? Like what other fuels? At this time? Yeah, there's the... Um, the ethanol, ethanol and, and everything else. And now we have uh, urea and stuff for the diesel trucks. So for the biodiesel? Yeah. No, for the uh, regen systems and stuff. So if you have diesel tanks, all the new stations now have urea tanks right. for the exhaust, the exhaust fluids. Yeah. So you have your diesel tank, your urea tank, and your gas tanks. What's the urea so maybe tank? We take out Gasoline and other liquid petroleum. Yeah, I just don't know what the other options would be. 
think you take them both out because there's, we have there's to so many alternatives. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? There's too many alternatives. So there. we're going to leave what? underground in. Yes. And just strike above ground storage in or transmission of gasoline and other petroleum products. So what's left is underground transmission of oil. But you don't have an underground transmission of oil. Mm. <laughs> and or, you know. Should we should we take Do a look at what the A, state B, C, has D? How, yeah. How they have the how the state has the yeah, you know, what the state says. Yeah. See yeah. how the state has a has their verbiage. Yeah. Would, before we get too worried about how we're changing up, yeah. things and around. Mirror what? I don't. I, yes. I, 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 I still See, I would still like to keep underground tanks out of the aquifer. Oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah, no, yeah we're no. keeping. See how the state has the above ground tank format rate. Yeah. Right. See what verbiage they have. Yep. Yeah. See what that is, and look at this yeah, and say, good. okay, I'm writing down the put this there. in and take this out. Right. This is already by state reg, just word for word it, yep. and then put this in about the underground tanks. Yeah, that's, that's cool. So, but then you and they might even have that in their beverage because it has to do with aquifer. But the transmission would be all the underground piping, would it not be? Okay, so the definition, so we did get this in our packet from Ray. So the definition is storage of liquid hazardous materials as defined in or liquid petroleum products unless such storage is above ground level and on an impervious surface in containers and either an above ground tank within a building on an impervious surface or outdoors in covered container or, so they're actually um, unless, they have an unless. So liquid petroleum products, unless such storage is above ground. Okay. So I would just copy, I would go in yeah, with right. this yeah, and easy. just copy that Can and I then do the exceptions. Because the transmission, and I agree, is all underground from the tank to the pump. Yes, it is. That would be considered transmission. That so I'll give you the transmission. whole thing. Correct. There you go. That's so the, is that the language from the state? Yeah, wellhead protection regulations, uh, 310 CMR 22.21, section 2. Do you want this back? No. 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 I memorized it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> At my age, you won't be. Um, and then I would just keep hey, except those uses incidental oh, yeah. too, also. Right. So figure out a way to, um, yep. Yep. which they do the reference um, 314 CR. But <coughs> dream up something, it's coming to you anyways. Because if it's in the aquifer, no doubt that it's going to be real special double or triple layer yeah. protection they have for the underground mm -hmm. routing of that mm -hmm. stuff. The pipes are in pipes. Pipes inside of the pipe inside of the main pipe. With a coating and a protection yeah. and, yeah. Yeah. and all that. Yeah. Yeah. For all the, uh, especially in Africa. And with the areas. detection that they have on them now and everything, I mean, yeah. below ground tanks, he'd, he'd, old ones, they just, they, they could be leaking for a long, long time never and know. you never know no. it. No. And Ray brought up that one before that he did not bring up tonight was the fact that his three tanks were proposed are bigger than his two now. So he has capacity so you don't get that December 31st overfill problem again. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Bob. We'll see you soon. You can circulate your proposed if you want, and then you can send it to Ian. He can send it to all of us. Oh, on uh, your proposed change. On, yeah. 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 This. When, is, when is the EDC meeting? It was. Last night, but they postponed it. I think next Friday. Next Friday. Okay. okay. Um, board, anything else? Bob, you're all set, right? I'm all set. Okay. Yes. No, appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Um, Ian, anything else? Uh, nope. So we are. So the upcoming meetings. It says 5:20 Blackstone Logistics on the agenda. You can scratch that. Um, we had originally thought about having Blackstone Logistics as a separate meeting. Yeah. But since everything was addressed tonight and then they're continuing it to the 27th, I will let the um, town clerk know to just release the room from that, our obligations for that date. 
Okay. That is the only thing on here that is left besides that. Um, so no meeting on the 20th. No meeting on the 20th. You're free next Thursday. Yay. Nice. Thank you. Um, First time in a while. One thing actually I will say okay. is, um, actually we can, I can talk about this when okay. we're going okay. close meeting. Um, and if we could work on getting the electronic documents for all the applications yes. on the website. On the website. Yes. yes. And then I was going to mention something about the SharePoint. I don't know if you saw that email from yes. last month. Yes. So that's, I think, it's going to be a way that we can start uploading things so you can access it during the meetings. Yes, perfect. And there's something else oh. we wanted to do. Yeah, update the website. Update the uh, new bylaw stuff. Yes. That's been, what, a year and a half or two yeah. years old? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It hasn't been updated. Like going over things tonight, we're looking at our own bylaws, and mm -hmm. we know it's been updated, and it's not even in print yet. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, the correct. Has there been um, anything updated on the subdivision bylaws? No, we haven't covered from, from 2011. No, we got to yeah. look at those from 2001. Okay, just getting the yeah. bylaws. Yeah. yeah, so right. the online, the website needs to be updated mm -hmm. for the correct current version so of the bylaw, so of the zoning bylaw. That way, then, when people come before us, they're looking at current information and not stuff that's two years old. Right. I mean, right. we're making everybody go online, let's have the correct right. stuff yeah. online. Yeah. Yeah. I bring, right. yeah. I bring that up the map because even even your, like the ZBA board still has Lenny Demers and he hasn't been living in the town. Oh, uh, yeah, years. that's, yeah. Oh, no, yeah, I think I saw something on the zoning um, board <laughs> where it was like, yeah. From 27, like the next meeting, 2017, and I'm just like, that's, <laughs> I mean, it, 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 I'm glad you guys invented time machines. No, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Away, it was still posted there for three years. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In memory. Okay, and I'll entertain. Oh, Scott, thanks for everything. Yeah. What are the correct dates? I'm, I'm glad like, you're, you're hanging 27. out. 27. Yeah. Oh, you got, you guys are fine. <laughs> I got 27. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Here's something I haven't done in years. I make a motion to adjourn. Motions are made. I'll second that. Second by Mike. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you.